should be live. Hello, everyone. It's Whoa. Law Crimes. Yes. Hello. Woo, Welcome woo, to your woo, resident woo. crime <laughs> producers, <laughs> crime contributors. Hello, everyone. Your uh, law today, dealers. Well, today let's let the hate flow because we're gonna. You know, we're, we're pretty positive people, but we're about to like really get into the most hated characters in Warhammer, in general. Um, yeah. Some of these people should not be in this list. I won't lie, Andy. <laughs> well, here's the thing. This is a bespoke list. I made this before the stream. This is kind of why we're a little bit late. It was my fault. But it's like, we've put up a bunch of characters that you would think, oh, they're obviously evil. And we put some on that, personally, we think are evil. And again, guys, if you have anyone you think we've missed on this list, let me know. I'll add some as we go if I have to. But I think we've got a fairly good spread of evil and good but shitty people characters so i was that's how we're going i was just incredibly confused because i thought shadow son was marcus wolfhart who was just a guy <laughs> from fantasy who hunts monsters mm. i was like why the, what did, what did he do i don't know didn't pay his taxes if you feel um, the urge to put more fantasy characters in colin just let us know because yeah. uh there's, there's there's a few representing here well and is uh Go ahead, sorry, go ahead. As long as the big man himself is here, who I do see him at the very right of the top row, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm about to say, mm -hmm. def definitely not, Mister. Was it? Um, oh, who's our strongest supporter in the in our chat for Mister? Um, not Luther Harkon. Is oh, it Luther Harkon? Uh, yeah, 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 that's him. No, he's Luther great. Harkon is that's... he is not hated at all. This is the most beloved character. He will be on. <laughs> to be fair, we should probably do a list where like the most beloved. Characters in Warhammer. Yeah, yeah. explore would I think kill us if we didn't put him in S tier. <laughs> the chat list, if you will. Um, no, one Louis minute McShooty. in, one minute in, baby. Technical difficulty, speed run. Hello, Louis McShooty. Yeah. Thank you for the two most hated. Besides, what what my bed's done nothing. Oh, can, we, can I? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can I get a reading of the Shane bra uh, message above that, please? Oh, of course. Uh, Level five, Giat, Riz, Livy, Dune, Rizzing up, baby man. This just keeps going. <laughs> Gronk, Ice Spice. What the dog doing? Jesus Christ, skibbity toil in real life. And I, I'm done. No, I'm done. <laughs> it's a very, very wonky slush vibe, didn't that? Oh, man. Donkey Man USA. Donkey Man USA. Thank you for the Thank five dollars, Colin. When you drop the techless bomb on a start as anonymous, I about crashed on the highway. <laughs> oh, What's the techless bomb? Was the pregnant what? that you get techless? Yeah, it was yeah. that. Jesus, no, very good. And it's not the first time he said it. No, it's no, not. that's why I enjoyed being on there because I got to see the difference of people who are used to my fucking nonsense. <laughs> and people who weren't. Oh man, Call those poor guys crazy. on the Stars Anonymous have heard the most <laughs> ridiculous, yeah, ridiculous things from all kinds of creators. Oh, um, we've all been on now, which is nice. Yeah, we have. Oh no, <laughs> that's sorry, Andy. The, the microphone <laughs> is hating. Shit! It's still so we can you're hear still you. perfectly, yep. you know, audible. It's just you sound like a pretty augmented tech priest. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just role play. To kick off, to kick off the heresy, then I made an executive <laughs> decision. I yes, Belisario is cool. <laughs> this this should be where we start, surely. Andy, can you please say you are an abomination? <laughs> you are an abomination. Nice. <laughs> True. So I think him. He's got to go here, surely. After the release, is it, is it possible to zoom out a bit? I don't know if I can see the. Uh... Oh, I can't even see it. It's just frozen. Yeah, oh, there, you go. there we go. Erebus, is this even an argument? I think Erebus is very much his own. Yeah. There might be one other character who can make the Erebus list. Who can, yeah, who, they can be buddies together. Yeah. There's one other character, but the next one, the next character though, to be fair, we should explain a little bit why Erebus basically corrupted everyone he thinks he's the messiah turns out he's the you know he he, he is side character energy to the max mm -hmm. and he basically killed argyle tall he killed some favorite characters he killed some other ones i don't know if it's spoiled already but he killed garviel loken he's a very <sighs> naughty boy yeah he's a hate hateful creature it just sucks. It just sucks. Um, but the next heresy, is huh? is uh, is S tier like extremely hated, or is D tier like extremely hated? How, what, Most how hated is top. Okay. So you're These are all people you're who are a, hated. You're a, you're a the least hateable of the uh, hated fellas. Okay. It could be a bit of like in universe and a bit of our own personal bias. This is not an official mm -hmm. <laughs> like 
you know, in the universe, because some of these people are light. Oh, Joseph Pollard says, Colin, thank you for informing me how much Thank you for informing me how much of a no diff fantasy slash Sigma has with 40k. Yes. Fantasy's way better. Every time. I don't want to let Colin even oh. mention the next one. Because keep this keep keep his goddamn name out of your mouth, <laughs> Mr. Pertorabo. Uh I'd say he's a b be- I Colin, feel like he's mute. fifty f- <laughs> half the people hate him, half the people I, love him. So look, I, I can I can accept yeah, him like being an A or B. B like, for sure, yeah. He is C tier. He's actually like legitimately. His books are like some of the best in the entire damn series. Yeah, but community like, wise, I'd, I'd say he's half yeah, and half, like... right? People get. I oh, wait. Okay, I don't understand it. People, why don't you like him? I like him. I like him. <laughs> he's a man child. Yeah, he's a fucking child. People only Literally. say that because Major Kill said it for three years straight. And now I it's been perpetually. No, 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 no. Here's, here's the thing. I've oh, literally, gosh. before we started the stream, is my voice better, by the way? No. 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. But we can still hear okay. you. You're still legible. It's just static. Okay. Praise it's God, Messiah. Well, all I'll say, I just finished my Battle of Fall video. He got dunked on by an Imperial Fist captain. And then he had a little bit of a, like, oh, I'm... Uh, and he had a whinge about it. Rubbish. I mean, Hate all him. Primarchs have gone... I yeah, mean, Conrad the, Kerr has got stabbed Primark through the back by a character. has their flaws. Character. People don't care about the other one's flaws. They only... Rogel Dawn Jagatai got Toronto. killed by... Jagatai has no flaws. Uh, he's all right, perfect. Well, we're going to move fast that one as quick as we can. Listen, Perturabo <laughs> is legitimately... It's unfounded. The whole I, point is, I, like, I, the I, Emperor... I, the Emperor threw him at the worst, like battles imaginable and then didn't even like all the all the victories all the laurels all everything was thrown on other brothers for things like he like the people who didn't deserve it that's his whole thing well i feel the two things one finney lock lock in the chat put a very good point he strangled his sister to death i think that's a pretty valid reason not to like <laughs> have you read that have you read that book though it's actually like a it's a really sad book it's very you know, yeah, he, the whole point is he he, oh he does it at the end yeah, of it. Yeah, you, you have if you he's... haven't read the books, I don't want to hear a single goddamn opinion. Yeah, Mr. Oh, so Major it's... Kill. Oh my <laughs> gosh, <laughs> bro, this is like someone this is like someone saying, "Oh man, I haven't read Lord of the Rings, but I I I just don't think Gandalf's a well written character." Like, oh, like, Boromir sure me. was a terrible person, but I haven't read Lord of the Rings. I've only seen the movie. All right, now hang on, now uh, that's different. Perturabo was not tempted by the One Ring. <laughs> He's just a bitter asshole. Uh, yeah, but you would be too. That's the least you of the crimes too. compared to got corrupted by a broken whispering sword. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lizzie McShooty says Andy out here dishing for the dark mechanics. That is Andy true. Ooh. Mr. Oh, Tech, he runs all of our tech. So we... I understood my flesh. Oh, it disgusted me. His, oh, no, it went his away. whole personality <laughs> is just sandpaper. It's not, bro. You're not, bro. This is. Bro, this I haven't is read the, the books. It, 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Padarabo is just like that guy who went to school and he tried really hard and he got good grades, but he didn't have a personality beyond. Oh, life's so hard. It's like, yeah, deal with it. You're a doctor. Deal with it. You're a Primarch. Deal with it. It's like, all right, Purdy. I understand. Your Legion had a tough time. Doesn't mean you can be a shit heel. Come on. I'm also saying put him in B because I know I'm not alone in disliking him. <sighs> Please put it in B. Please yeah, put it in yeah, B. He's in B. He's Here's in the B. thing. He, he, the only reason he goes down to B is because he's capable. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, he straight up beat. He beat Angron. Yeah. yeah <laughs> when he was a he Angron was a demon. Punched fight. out Fulgrim. Mm. Mortarion is next though. That's not. A, that's what... not a likable character trait. Everyone in 40k does cool oh, shit at some gosh. point or other. Mm. He's done cool <laughs> shit. I'm not denying that. Yeah. Yeah, Gilliman lost to Fulgrim, but he's ten times better than Pateravo. Uh, I was gonna say. Uh, also, right. Gill- Gilliman was punching people in outer space. If we're gonna, if we're gonna uh, power, yeah. if for we're ten gonna hours, scale face was something punches. stupid. I'm sure it's like eight <gasps> hours. He was in the void. He's just like, I didn't hear no bell. I need to do a thing where Colin loses a bet and he has to read the the Pateravo Pateravo Primark book. You I'm, he'll... I'm already. <laughs> There's already a Primark book I'm going to be reading soon. I'm making my way through Thanquil. You're not getting me to read mm. Perturabos. Thanquil. Wow. The Lion. Yeah. It's a good book. So, all right. Uh, Morty. Morty. No, Morty. Morty. Go to the Death Guard, first. Morty. 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 Oh, I'm, oh, I'm going to kill you. I've been to Mortarian. I don't hate D-tier. him. D-tier. Uh, I've never been that D for Death Guard. Oh, I, I, would, I wouldn't put him D-tier. People hate this guy. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Mortarian, having, like, 
you it's one of those annoying things. Before I read his stuff, I would have put him in A tier. Having read the entire thing, like I, ah, uh, uh, it's difficult because I get like I like the fact that he's so flawed in terms of he actually like his hypocrisy. I'm, I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. Having a character that is a hypocrite is not poor writing. <laughs> in Warhammer, the fact that no one recognizes they're a hypocrite yeah, is no, the people, most infuriating thing. People don't want flawed characters, Hal. They want their perfect, pretty, freaking primers. That's the whole point. Yeah, because How everyone people, in this is uh, uncultured. Go to war and like, they don't writing. acknowledge their hypocrisy. The Warhammer community uh, he doesn't Pearl like good writing. A poorly written character. I said he's a cunt. <sighs> True. <laughs> Too fair. Yeah, uh, I still don't like Mortarian. I'm not saying he's <laughs> a bad character, but I don't like him. All I'm all I'm saying is, Morty had like several chances to have like redeeming qualities, and every time, apart from his Primarch book where he he takes the piss out of the bitter blood, where his like son gets his arm bitten off, and that's before he's a he's an Astartes. He's like, oh, they bit his arm off, and it spat it out because he t- it tasted so bad. He's like, ah, oh, bitter blood. He's like, ah, oh, we should call you that. And there's like, oh, you have a little bit of redeeming qualities, and then afterwards when he has like a legion. There's just nothing to like about him. He's just he's just a dick. He's a he's him. a man who he likes to destroy people who are enslavers, but yet he is no better solution in the end. So, yeah. but and in fact, in in universe, he's pretty much no one like. He has no friends. Uh, donation by <laughs> Kino Tech USA say, says Perty mogs any Primarchy faces. You're on something. That's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, Jagatai. Oh my gosh. Uh, he could kick his ass. <laughs> yeah, but they, they, they never fought. They never fought. What are you no, talking about? No, but if no, but if they did, if they did, <laughs> oh, Jagatai would be like, "You're too slow," oh, and he'd yeah. beat him up. Uh-huh. Dream Mortarian did fight Jagatai. Didn't fold No, no Bird Oh, yeah. yeah. If you're like a turtle versus like a tiger, <laughs> it'd be who needs to move like fast that. when the the Khan can't do anything to you. He moves so fast. But also, can't uh, also Mortarian, Mortarian and demon, A-tier. He's a demon Primarch now, which automatically makes him A-tier, in my opinion, because he's just a... The moment you become a demon Primarch is the moment you lose all aspects of any character. So, Pertorabo, to Robo, be fair, if you say Pertorabo, he's a demon Primarch, Pertorabo <laughs> is immediately more he's, hated. So. He's a demon Primarch off-screen, though, and, and that was a stupid change. It's almost like the theme of 40k was decay and people not doing what they need to anymore until the Great Rift and Primaris Marines and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. narrative consistency go to hell! <sighs> Sonic versus Joseph Burning Pollard War. says, I like Peter. He is a, he is a cringe atheist. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> oh, no, that's Fabius that, right. so now Speaking of a cringe Primarch, atheist, so speaking of a cringe, it's Emperor time. Andy, can I make a suggestion? Yes. Can we just right between A and B just make a tier that says Emperor? Because you either love him or fucking hate him. Yeah. Between A and B. Just I'm like right in the in middle. B. Okay. That's pretty just much like, what B it is. just says Emperor. Ooh. I'm feeling it. Okay. That's a thing in universe. You either love the god Emperor or hate him. Out of universe, mm-hmm. you either like Why him or hate him. Why is it many two? What the? God, Jesus. But just delete. Uh, just delete. Oh, wait. Made. No, never mind. Don't delete. It's that doing weird it. stuff to me. <coughs> I don't like it. Uh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm doing my best. Oh no, I've ruined it. It's fine. To there, we'll just leave the emperor there. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, he's he's fine. It probably is between A and S. He like he is like the most abominable, worst hypocrite ever. Or he's very much like it, he's a bastard, humanity. but he had to be. Yeah. So I don't feel like we. I, what's the uh, what's the next one? A Conradi curse. It says Dapura with how it's fitting in the screen. Ah, uh, Conrad curse. I just again, he's so he's like a decently well written character, but my god, is he the worst? And his fans are uh, something else. Oh man, is he? Is he <laughs> I don't, I don't hate Conrad. Night Lord's fans are are the problem. Is Conrad curse right? is not the problem. <laughs> We have a donation by Maximus Thank Decius you. Manus. I think that's the first ever donation. Ever considered each Primarch is just a separate aspect of the Emperor's absurd, absurd levels of <laughs> autism, except Horus and Lorgar, which, why they're villains. Yeah, that, that seems legit. Does that mean that the Emperor gets a worse, tier, worse rating because he's technically <laughs> responsible? <laughs> you can't, uh, you can't, I mean, you know, with no Emperor, there would be no Horus heresy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. it's difficult this is one of the things that I get annoyed about in 40k where it's, it's a 
if the emperor didn't exist would chaos have even eventually like destroyed humanity in the future kind of thing like would that be like our end death or did or you know does chaos exist because of him or did so or did he start becoming the emperor because he knew he had to fight chaos so it's a weird like which is it i think uh, it was a case of he was like i need to stop this i'm the only one who can stop it i'll just like become a kind of robotic demagogue because that's all i can do so I think you know, that's the idea. Could Colin read the, the the name of the next donation person because that's oh. quite the uh... Ma- okay. Commander's <laughs> mighty schlong. Thank you Ooh. for <laughs> thank you for so much if you protein. You don't in detail of starting a blood cult in Colin's kitchen. <laughs> I think Jesus Christ. I think well, where do you guys think Conrad Kerr's belongs? Say C tier. The thing is, I, I've got a. Is he well written? Really. As in, it is it's entertaining. It's one-dimensional as F. Well, I... Uh, there is nuance to it. Imagine... It's in his Primark book as well. Like, it kind of breaks him down. Imagine, Ooh. like, a rabid puppy bites you. I feel... That's Conrad. You not you don't like that yeah, puppy, but, but it's mostly just pathetic. But, but even with a rabid puppy, you'd have moments where you could pet it, and it would like have glimmers of being like, "Oh, this is nice." It's like, uh, and then it bites you when it has like a relapse. But Conrad doesn't have that. He's just always a bit of a shitter. Like, there's never a moment. There's, there's never a glimmer of nice qualities. So he's always to me. He's always been like, "Oh, he's just a bad guy," and he has an excuse for being a bad guy, but he hasn't got any redeeming qualities. So it's like. Uh, I don't empathize with you because you're so cartoonishly evil. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Uh, I think it is. Uh, it's a. It's interesting because it does tackle the like his twisted ideology, which I think a lot of the other Primarchs doesn't really go into that level. Mm. It's more like their experiences, whereas you actually sort of experience the mind and the sort of mental acumen of this twisted creature. So again, like, like I don't think, particularly in Community. He's hated not because he's like, oh, it's such a shit character. It's more like he's hated because he is the villain. Because because the thing is, like, we put Purty in B. Like, I can understand Purty's position, and I know that he was constantly trying to prove himself. But like, Conrad had like Primark level inter uh, interventions where they tried to fix him, and Horus sent uh fulgrim to mentor him to try to fix him and everyone tried to fix him and every time he just didn't take the initiative and i'm like there's never been a that correct me if i'm wrong but there's never been anything in the law that shows he has any redeeming qualities he just instantly falls and goes no i'm i'm evil and i'm broken it's like you didn't try you could have like been better and at least Padarabo, I mean, as much as a, as much of a baby he is, at least he tried. Whereas like Conrad, I'm like, he didn't try. He just went, oh, I'm just evil and bad, and I'm going hot. I mean, topic. if he was if he was like, totally oh. unredeeming, then why would he like at the very end weep over everything he had done? Because he called he's all basically believed he believed fate wise he was forced to do it. Like oh, he just fate. he was like he oh, thought he was a prison problem. So he wasn't un- no he was not unredeeming completely. He was just a monsterly monstrously wrong there yeah. i mean i don't know where to put him now i don't see him. C- c- c-tier bruh he's yeah, definitely bruh could see into the future and not fix his own problems bruh sounds like a skill issue to me it is truly <sighs> i mean when the emperor just does just straight up say you know your only problem was you just didn't believe you could do yeah. anything <laughs> so you kept there you basically be you didn't even try and you know move the boat against the stream eli the night lords are a very good indie game who gets a completely abominable fan base yep that yep Mm. they they are the undertale of warhammer yay yes (laughs) love that game yeah me too that the subreddit that gets banned shame about the fan base shame shame about what happens if you look up anything shout out to richard eb who did that amazing cover album of Undertale songs. Yeah, Shout out to the album. Smash Bros community. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good what? on that one. Let's go on to the is next. It's not character. the same thing. I'm joking, obviously. It's Kato Sicarius. It is I, Kato Sicarius. Dude, fucking put that Hated by all water towel <laughs> aggressively. S tier. Uh, S tier. No, put him in A tier because there was. He, he's not as hated anymore. You know, after. I don't think it's. Like, it's not. Mm, 
he was. I would hate PTSD. My I would hate Conrad Kurz more than I would hate Kato Sicarius. Yeah, but mm-hmm. like, I he still yeah. has holdover from the days of the Ultramarines. Yeah, we should just put Matt Ward in the best 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 year best year armor. <laughs> <laughs> like, we he's need, cool need, down, we can't put any more unique ones in. We need more Matt Ward. Too many. <laughs> Bring Matt Ward back. He'll fix Bring, everything. Is it, can we put, Con- can we put Conrad on Mortarian in C tier at least? Because they are not. <laughs> no. Not no. Oh. There's no control. I won't allow it. Oh my god. Uh, next one is that yeah, Lucius the Eternal S tier man. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, not, no, no. See? He is no. supposed to be hated. Yeah, but... he is the hate. Yeah, well, most people hate him for the wrong reasons, but. Whatever. He was, Could you Lucius elaborate was, on Lucius that? was goaded during the Horus Heresy, but now his character is super boring. So he is at least half cool, right? He he did yeah. fight like one v ten in the in on Istvan and won. So like, to be fair, yeah, what? Lucius, Araman, and Khan are all a bit like <laughs> they haven't done much for the last ten thousand years. At least Typhus is out there doing stuff. I think Araman's been. Whereas the other three are just like, Ugh. I've read. Khan's working with a lot of people. <laughs> Khan killed. Uh, Saints I mean, he, he's living his best life, but he hasn't really like done much. Mm-hmm. And Araman, like he's doing his own thing, but he hasn't really done much. And I've read the least, Lucius yeah. Eternal book. That's an, there's a reason the book is an all like action scenes book. Yeah, there is a, this this guy's about as deep as a puddle. I know they did not try hard on him, but it, and that's not why also, everyone hates him though. Everyone hates him because. Oh, he loses fights like any character should in any the fantasy. The dumb so, resurrections, though. Well, the dumb hold resurrections. Hold on. There is also the fact that like he invaded the Exorcist chapters, like fortress monastery, and just like wrecked all their stuff. Yeah, that's how and, it like, should These be. are the guys who get possessed by demons. He's not a demon, though. and they look like chumps. Yeah, yeah, but they, he's they, Lucius they have, the Eternal. Like... Lucius is unironically yeah, they... a baller. Authors are yeah, just really like, stupid and don't write and write them into goofy situations. Yeah, but, if you get yeah, but they're like with the ex- you're gonna you're gonna lose. That's how it works. But the, but they're Maximus like Maximus Decius, hey, a donation here says that Conrad is like the kid in history class who tries to justify atrocity with the logic that it killed less people than the island <laughs> hopping mm. campaign. <laughs> yeah, sitting on the outskirts of Stalin. Anyway, it's like, but the thing is, like the exorcists are like Cadia. other than the Grey Knights, the most occult. Fun- uh, focused faction that should know what they're doing and then like Lucius like waltzes in and they kill him and they're like ah oh, don't worry about it he's just some guy and it's like mm, uh-huh. this don't make sense uh-huh. I'm just saying come on we like, all know cool we all know if he's not an S tier people would look at us funny mm-hmm. he is hated for like he, he is generally is a, he's like, hated, he is one of the most hated him, characters I don't hate, I don't know. If, but he is hated. If Karn, Tyrus, or Armand came in and killed every exorcist, nobody right. would care. All right? All right, all right, all right. Care. Here's, a, here's a real question. Of the heralds of the four, who's the worst herald? Lucius. <sighs> yeah, mm. uh, he's not great because he yeah. has one book and like zero other <laughs> things in 40k. Well, I think he's... I mean, I hate him because what the fucking shit he did at his farm. He's, he was just... Yeah. He, he's just like, I wanted to be in charge. He was a petulant yeah, child, gates. yeah. And or also, he, he lost it because he's an he, asshole. He's just he lost to Saul Tarvitz in a duel, and then when no, I'm still gonna win. Like, oh, I hate you, <laughs> Dick. Hey, he took a lot of W's. All right, you can't. You guys just you guys yeah, just hate him. Eli is right? just he's he's just just more W's than he belongs hate him, in. Hate him because you hate him. I'm just you hate Eli, him because you hate him. I'm hating him because he betrayed the loyalist on his spawn. Yeah, that does. So he was a dick. He was for sure. He's the reason that that didn't go on for another month. S tier. S tier. S tier. S tier. This is the this is like this is the below Erebus mm-hmm. character. This is like Rylanor was the last true Emperor's children. No, I saw Tarvis, yeah. but uh, I guess Rylanor was, was good, but, but really Rylanor lived, lasted longer. I miss you, Saul. And also Vespasian, who confronted his Primarch, and then the Primarch went, "Lol, dead." Oh, the next one. The next one is not really hated, but he was hated in a certain Eli day. told us to put this on this one. <laughs> Chad, Gabriel, Chad, Gabriel Angelos. Do you love back or hate Gabriel Angelos? Double flip. Angelos. Dawn of War 3, Gabriel Angelos gets thing? A-tier for me. <laughs> oh, and that is Dawn of War 3, Gabriel, right there. I mean, I can't knock um, it. Like, unironically, pretty cool. backflipping Terminator, funny. <laughs> it's very funny. It's so funny. It's so funny. I love that. It's so I think people just have they have PTSD from the game rather than I, yeah, the actual I don't, character. I don't you could blame Gabriel Angelos for Dawn of War 3 being ass. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, his damn voice lines hit that's, so good. That's like blaming an actor for a script they haven't written that they have to perform. Well, it's not the actor. Eli is getting the yeah because people hate Lucius. Everybody takes. hates Lucius because they watched one major kill video five years ago and they haven't read a single book for the minute. I don't know. No, but that's, that's, like that's maybe not why go. you guys hate him, but that's why the community hates him. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like he was in a Thousand Sons book, and his old plot line was, "Oh, Sonark, I want to beat you up, mate." You're the only. And he's yeah, like, but nah, nobody's mate. read that Thousand Sons. To be fair, at least he was interesting in that book. And that book was a. Slog. He was like slightly interesting, but he was still like that annoying, like younger kid who just like hangs around with the older kids mm-hmm. at school mm-hmm. in the playground. It's like, oh, I just want to be part of the gang. It's like you're trying too hard. Go I like characters who me. people get mad when they win because I think that's funny, and people are babies. Valid. But he's but he's not like Erebus, who actually has like a, a a clean record of like win upon win. He's like ah, I failed and I failed, and then cheat codes. Yeah, because like, they, he's the only he's character just... that they can let fail. Because if the other ones die, then they have they, then they're dead, and they can't do any like he, they can't let the other characters fail, which is so stupid. And Korn gets resurrected all no, the time by freaking Korn. I know. I've been reading. Korn got new, like uh... two shot in the Horus Heresy. He literally got destroyed. I've... I mean, I've I've literally been listening to the new Emperor's Children book with Zantine, who's like an Emperor's Children captain, and he's like, book. he gets stripped of a demon. It's like he goes through some stuff, and like it's not Lucius levels of BS, but he gets humbled and he still degenerates his way out of it. I'm like, good way, good work <laughs> for you, mate. Nice one, better than Lucius. Asriel should have killed him. <laughs> Just saying. It just, it, it, just saying. <laughs> but he can't. But he couldn't. He couldn't kill Karn way. because then Karn would be dead. Uh, crazy. Just, I'm just saying. Logar. Logar is an S tier for sure. I love the guy, but I, th- I think most people hate him again because major kill videos, and nobody actually yeah, reads the like, books. That's genuinely like one of the most. Because again, like it just it's an interesting person like who deals with like the the actual character who deals like the f- philosophical side of like chaos and then he actually had the appropriate 1v1 versus an avatar of kane sorry Colin. <laughs> <laughs> the actual only appropriate one he's lorcar is interesting he's cool ish but again like i being like the run to the primarchs kind of i can see why people start to like hate him because uh, like basically look down on him yeah i mean he got he got messed up by korax on this farm and he got messed up by Gilliman on uh, Nuceria. He got messed up by like, Horus. And he, and he, got, and he yeah. got messed up by Horus. <laughs> and, and then he sulked for 10,000 years going, I'm going to go in my chamber Bro, and meditate. I would like, sulk for 10,000 years too if I did what, I, what he did. I you guys, you guys be dogging We're, on characters whenever on. they get sad. I would be sad I'm too. Not, do- I'm not dogging on like Rogel Dawn when he got sad. Ago. Rogel Dawn carried his like Ugh. broken father and his dead brother to the Imperial. Yeah, but it wasn't Rogel Dawn's fault sad. that his father was dead. Too bad Rogel Dawn couldn't carry a fucking scene he's in because he's so boring. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Crimson Fist, he's great. Sorry, there's only one person like in the entire community who actually likes thinks Rogel Dawn's their favorite. That's Andy? only Chapter Master Valorant. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, but he's he's and that's he's the only fine. person. No one else the girl's like, oh man, I'm so excited to see yeah, Imperial Fist Law. Yeah, yeah he, he's that's... kind of like mid, but he is good when he's good. Like, he's fine. He's fine. Oh, we haven't even got Corvus Korax on this list. We should have him, shouldn't we? Because mm-hmm. people who should we because he's mopey e- mopey emo. I don't know if people hate him, but I just, I just think nobody cares about him. Yeah, the people just forget he's Korax is there. racist yeah. towards Terrans, but other than that, he's <laughs> kind of solid. Korax is low key a bit of a racist, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like everyone in 40k is low key yeah. a bit of a racist. <laughs> but to be fair, in universe and Jagatai outside, isn't Logar is hated. Logar is hated. Jagatai is like, oh as long as you cut your face, <laughs> all of you are my sons. And like, I love you. Jagatai is biggest the best. I can't blame yeah. you. I love the guy, but holy frick. <laughs> yeah, you see? Yeah. See? What see? Ha- what happens when the dude cutting their face that, uh, you know, isn't a human? Suddenly <laughs> it's back. Yeah. You go and date them in camera. That's what he's doing what's right the, now. Uh, right, what's the next up. one? That's right. So much <laughs> on the list. Who is this next one? Uh, this is uh, Eldrad Ufrun. <laughs> Oh. Now he is in universe. There's quite quite a few people have got a beef with this dude. Do you want to explain him a little bit, Colin? Well, you see, Eldred. Uh, well, I think oh, first off, he's from Ulthway, who is the seer craft world. So like other ones like Simon are always like he shows up and they're like, God, get the fuck out of here! You're so annoying with your future eating garbage. Uh, he also tried to summon Iniad, and his method of doing that was to steal. 
all of the farseers and warlocks from the infinity circuits of every craft world which i <laughs> impressive he could pull that off but all right uh and then he kind of failed which you know to be fair he failed because the death watch i, I un, mm. unbelievably I don't want to kill Slanesh, actually. I'd rather kill this Eldar guy. Oh my god. I love GW writing. They have the best Arthurs ever. Death Watch Captain Artemis should have been immediately (laughs) unpersoned by the Inquisition after that. But uh, yeah, he he got a whole bunch of spirit stones and souls wasted and and he did come out, so he did kind of succeed, but not enough to justify it. Uh, I'm just adding someone. He got exiled. (sighs) He's also oh, an Eldar, so, you know, out of universe, that's immediately can't go lower than B tier. Yep. He's, I mean, he's been hated as well, like, particularly if you were reading the Horrors Heresy books. Oh. I'm not, I won't lie. <laughs> Just keep showing off. My man's intellect is a bit lacking. He's in the trying. Horrors Heresy. He's trying, bro. He tried. He tried to save humanity. Not for humanity's sake, to be fair. He doesn't care about humanity. Did he know? But... Did he he freaking tried. Nobody listened to him. <laughs> Yeah, but that's that's the kind of thing like when you go to the jailhouse and they're like, "We're sentencing you. Do you have any last ones?" Like, I was trying to save you. Fulgrim, like, uh. Fulgrim was literally about to listen to him until, oh, there's a sword. Oh, I'm so good oh, at writing Fulgrim. books. I'm so good at writing. Fulgrim. Fulgrim. There's a sword now. Fell to a sword. <laughs> so stupid, man. Fell to a sword. Oh. A donation by uh, our resident brother, Mr. Mikhailov. Hey, he says, you. "Finally got my salary." <laughs> Anyways, where's the C dot S go to? Dude, uh, no. Bro is the wisest moron, it. says DJ Beast. Yeah, that's, that's about right. <laughs> Eldred is fighting not only against the forces of the 41st millennium, but it's against the fighting of Games Workshop. Yeah. Seriously. Maybe. I think leave him in C. He's not. He's, yeah, he's hated. Hate him, Pe- he's people just, got beef with him, yeah. but. I like the Eldar. He's cool. Uh, what's okay, the next I, one there? I've, I've added one because uh, Quantum Cthulhu said. Is Ophir weird make on this list? This is the space wolf uh-huh. who is like, ah, oh, psychers are cringe while being a psyker. <laughs> is I te- well, technically, <laughs> in the roots are different. Well, the, if this, the, the dwarves in fantasy, I mean, are he. So... I mean, to be fair, oh. this guy got literally. I think Ariman got his soul devoured by demons yeah. or something. So he yeah, kind of got he it. Was like, yeah, he did get end, it, but good. he was still a bit of a dick. Fuck that guy. I'll be honest. I like all this. I like every single Space Wolf in uh, the Thousand Suns books. Thousand Suns got it. They got what they deserved. Yeah. <sighs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'd beat up a Thousand Suns. I'm just Suns saying, if, 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 if your own Primarch is like, I'll let my sons and civilians die for the greater good, it's like, your Primarch's a bit of a. Thousand Suns are goated. Magnus is the, uh, the worst aspect. Thousand Suns are. Oh, okay, the next one. But I like the next one is the true Phoenix. Of ashes. Ashes. True the Phoenix. True Phoenix. Oh, I love you, Malakith. I'm your number one fan. <laughs> Put this man in eight tier. Sign right my now. boob. Put him in eight, eight tier. <laughs> Thank it's you. Don- I, I love this guy. I, I love this guy. Another course. donation by Kabanda's Mighty <laughs> Schlong. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Eldrad was trying to speed run pissing off Fulgrim. Oh, but he actually got through to Fulgrim. That's the thing. Fulgrim was actually really? like, yeah, yeah, what do you mean? Did I talk about this all the time? Ugh. Fulgrim was like, oh, hey, that Eldar guy is actually, he said, that Eldar guy is actually right. And then, and then Eidolon said, here's your sword, sir. And then he's like, "Oh, that El- that Eldar guy was totally wrong. I should join Horse." And then that imagine was getting cucked by Eidolon. Oof. It was by the sword. It's just... oh, it's the sword, isn't it? It's always about that. Bro, there's nothing I can do. Know. It's he just how it was written. He picks up the sword and it's all down. <laughs> Sorry, donation by oh. War Six Six Six. Hell of a name. Uh, Eldrad B tier. B minus tier for his inability to tell even his own people the truth and getting people killed due to it. Overall, yeah, dick move. Yeah, he is a bit of a dick. All right, the next one. A bit. The next one is. I said Vect. Vect. <laughs> so I haven't read enough Dark Elder stuff to know if I hate him. I mean, I know he, in universe this is probably this. like, of all the people who like, you'd want to like, you, you know, maybe Erebus you'd probably want to try and kill. Vect you just wouldn't go anywhere near in case you didn't win. Mm. There's no in case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, like, the heart of Because I'm not, I'm not ready to be a moaning, like couch, <laughs> mm. in like some back alley because he found it funny. <laughs> so, I, I think every, I mean, everyone would be ha- like, there's not a single person who wishes he was alive. At all, Vect seems cool. Vect like Vect has like a hundred percent win rate, pretty much, right? 
if I remember correctly. Well, technically, if like if anything goes wrong, he eventually wins, but he's he's never lost a war. Easy, easy mm. win. I like the Dark Eldar. They get too much hate, just like the Eldar. <laughs> Big true. <sighs> Should put him next to Malekith as well. That'd be very um, appropriate. D- DJ Beast, <laughs> there's nothing Fulgrim could have done. It was literally him versus the Rider, okay? The Rider needed a reason for Fulgrim to fall, and he just didn't. He just felt like not trying, okay? And he DJ didn't listen to the sword. It. He didn't listen to the sword for 75% of the book. <sighs> DJ Beast also said Colin already has the brain cell of Drukari furniture. <laughs> oh, wow. We just need the body of one. Uh, the fall of Fulgrim is more Becca Kinska's fault than it is the freaking sword. Like, that was just the nail in the coffin mm. that needed the sword so to get through. So that's double simpage. It wasn't oh the sword, gosh. it was the Remembrance of Lady. She's pretty in it. Oh, I like I her. I see our second Erebus tier right there. Yeah, this, this is the only yeah. other thing that could get Erebus. I can't I can't even there. I can't even like Manfred, dude. <laughs> Manfred von Karstein. He got cucked by writing so being Erebus here. Here, surely. He he got No, it is Erebus tier. He's Erebus yeah, tier, but... yeah. He's higher than Erebus he's in my the fancy opinion. version of Erebus, right? Yeah, but and they didn't even kind do a good job with er- him. They just Erebus he, oh, gave us 40k. Manfred took fantasy. Yeah, he's higher in than fairness, Erebus. Dude. He's higher in fairness, than Erebus. Erebus is there's no part of Erebus that's like poorly written. Yeah. Like Erebus is always kind of like you hate him, but you're like, "Oh, I hate him because he's so like, you know, he's the guy, the villain." And he's such a little rat, but Manfred is like, oh, you know, like he's like fuck this guy. Like when he shows up, you yeah, you don't yeah. want him to show I mean, up. I he's mean, to be fair, it is in end times, and end times is some of the worst writing in GW history. So it's not his fault. But I mean, it's just, it's like Fulgrim. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. He's that's what he did. Yeah, the he right- would he would be in oh, S tier either way though, because yeah. even when he's well written, he's a backstabbing slimy yep. weasel. I just I who mm. who thought who thought that I just don't get it. I just don't get it. You know, did, did you oh, ever read gosh. the like the exact reasoning for why he stabbed Gelt in the I back? Don't, I don't remember. It I, was uh, just to piss off Vlad. Who yeah. Was dead. He, oh my gosh, man, it's so bad. And I don't know why people like End Times. It was so awful. Oh my gosh, it gets me on tilt so I mean, hard. All, I'm gonna end the I'm world gonna say, for no all reason. I'm gonna say, all I'm going to say, Eli, is my brother is a big fan of Star Trek, and my brother and my brother's friends really enjoy the new Picard series and all that other trash. <laughs> it's like, sometimes a fandom just wants stuff, and they don't they just care need what the slop quality when is. Been a lack of <laughs> they need some slop, because we haven't had any slop in a while, and they don't care. Unfortunately, this depressing. slop ended all future slop. Yeah. <laughs> the slop was full of poison, but they'll eat it up anyway. Oh, That's yeah. all I can say. Speaking of someone Nagash. who, who could almost... Trouble. Is this... This is the big debate here. Is this Erebus tier, the next guy? No. Or is he no, top of no, 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 way. no People love Nagash. People freaking Nagash love Nagash. Oh, okay. love Nagash. Seriously. But is he not technically almost like the most... Ha- like in universe, he's hated. Oh, in universe, fan, yeah, he's Fan base, I feel like most people really like Nagash. Everyone loves him. I think Colin's done a good job. Nagash. Colin said a good job of uh, Nagash propaganda. Question, He's Colin. A... Yes. Do people love Nagash more than Conrad? You know, like the psychos who love Conrad. Do people love Nagash more? Like in universe? No, outside the universe. Oh, I would say absolutely people love Nagash so more. So does he than go Conrad. to the bottom of D tier then? Yeah, because so, so many people love him. Everyone loves Nagash. He's like an, so, he's yeah. like an epic bad guy. There's a few people who just. He's dis- Warhammer. Because again, this guy has not, like, as much as, like, other characters we put in here where it's like at some point they're like they know what they're doing wrong Nagash doesn't have a moral compass <laughs> the guy does not have a moral compass he's at never all. once computed fact, he's like, he is in the wrong he's the polar opposite of Erebus he's my just, man is the magnet just fun, he just points to him Erebus, yeah <laughs> the thing he's is Magnus like, but Magnus tries to gaslight himself yeah. to think he's yeah but like right. but like like Magnus Mortari and blah 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 they all make mistakes and then they have to cope Nagash makes no mistakes. He doesn't care. Yeah. He's just he's a always dick. right, bro. He's and always everything right. he does is intentional. <laughs> and that's why he's a bit of a chad. Because it's like, no, I meant to do that. Deal with it. You I know. still can't believe like people would like if someone said like who's m- more hated, I would put Nagash over Gabriel Angelos, surely at some point. I feel like there's at least some people who are a bit more fuck me, Nagash. <laughs> uh, a donation by um great Shane Bro. He says, I uh, hope all American viewers have a great Memorial Day weekend and all the non-American viewers have a great no- a great normal weekend. Was it for boys Memorial Weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's like remembrance. Like... Yeah. Oh, I was in like November in the UK. 
We've got Veterans Day around September, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. So, oh, no. Oh, oh, wait, we're back. Well, Andy, we can see you again. So back. <laughs> nice. Uh, we can't. Hear oh, you. okay, okay. We have to keep it going then, boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Andy's tyranny has ended over the uh, over the over the over the, the, the tier list. Oh, also. No, because he. Oh. <laughs> Ten dollars from Raw. Oh. <laughs> Again, thank you very much. Is GW on the list due to poor uh, writing? <laughs> yes, GW's on the list. Uh, also, the only reason Dorn and Magnus is like due to text. Oh, the only reason they're liked is due to text speech <clears throat> device. That's also very true. Also, Nagash deserves top. Don't degrade him to the bottom of the list. I mean, tr- he he would want to be on top of the most hated list. That is very true. Thank you for the ten dollars. Also, Might yeah, TTS <laughs> TTS makes people like a lot of characters just for TTS sake, I guess. And I feel like that's oh, maybe a God. reason why a lot of people hate Kato Sicarius is because of TTS. I don't. Well, he was also the center of like some Matt Ward level mm-hmm. BS. We need Matt day. Ward. Matt Ward, I, save I, us. Eli, Matt Ward, I'm can you hear us? Matt Ward, one. can you bring hear back, me? Please help me, Ward. Matt Ward. Every oh faction needs a Matt Ward Seriously. writing for them to Seriously. just send them to the moon. <laughs> next, next one of those guys is Lehman Ross. I, I, like uh, I, I, I've always liked Lehman Ross. But there's definitely a lot of people who don't yeah. for uh, his. Uh, yeah, I feel like A tier at least. People hate on a. Space Wolves. A like, lot. I'll, He's the I'll, least I'll, favorite I'll, Primark I'll give, for sure. I, what, don't, weren't we just talking about Rogel Dorn? I mean, even he's a little bit better than Russ. Really? Just a little like bit. More people like Russ. Yeah, than Russ has Dorn more stuff Conrad. than Dorn, surely. Russ is a lot uh, more. Siege of Terror kind of resurrected yeah, Dorn's li- like image a little bit. What? Uh, next one, though, what? is Magnus. What? I do what? think I do think Lehman Russ is cooler than what? Dorn. Guy literally beats Horus. Like. <laughs> Mr. Mihalov says uh, Andy is Riverside's true man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So true. Thank you for the two bugin. New streaming software, boys. So soon. Ugh. Um, Magnus the Red S tier. God, I despise Magnus. Yeah, I hate. I hate. He's him. I such, hate him. A, such dickhead. a dickhead. It's all his he fault. Deserves everything he got. <laughs> he's the kind of guy who just basically goes like, "I'm not being rude. I'm just being honest." And he thinks like, he, "Was he like Schrodinger's douchebag?" Because <laughs> he thinks he's being. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, he's a, he's a very charismatic and nice individual until you slightly disagree with him in yeah. any regard on any matter, and then he's an ass. <laughs> uh, next one is Angron. I got a spicy. I, I, a lot I of people sp- kind of get annoyed at Angron because he's somewhat do. a bit bland. Oh, sorry, but there's another donation. Thank you, so. thank you, bloody shirt music for two dollars. Matt Ward should write the forty k end times. If there's anyone to do it, it should be him. How uh, question amen. your favorite legion? Ah, oh, I'd missed that one. Uh, oh, <laughs> I work I mean, for Fabius Bio. That's funny. I just do like the Thousand Sons because they're like they are in, they're, they're interesting. Mm-hmm. Could I? As in, like they seem like just at, no, they, yeah. <laughs> they actually, they, they actually <laughs> seem like they... almost like legit like soldiers in some books. And it's, I think they are cool. Um, Generally, space marines. <laughs> Angron is maybe C tier. I think people don't mind him that much. I don't but, mind like, him. He's he's people no one. Him, though. Yeah, yeah people give him the Perch Robert treatment a lot. Yeah, yeah. There's been there's been a few books that have like done it a bit of justice. Uh, next is Eidolon. Uh, this guy, dude, is... who doesn't hate Eidolon? Like, he's got a next hammer. Next Lucius. Sc- I love next him on like Lucius. tabletop and stuff. I think he's cool, but like, guy also gets no lore. So, uh, Your what? sword, my leash. <sighs> is he in any 40k books yet? I haven't read a single. He fort- does, or does I think he shows up in Fabius Bio book for like one second. I think he's but, getting a book release actually. To be fair, he yeah. might be part of the Emperor's Children release. Oh, that'd so be so he, awesome! Because he's getting a new lore book, so he's he's okay, like fighting wise, he's actually goaded. He's really cool, but character wise, he he he's he's just a jerk, and then he gets his head cut off by Fulgrim, which is kind of funny. Uh, uh, next is on his Typhus, though. I'm not gonna lie. I really didn't think much of this guy until I. Yeah, I I, you generally like have books. to read books in this yeah. guy. You, otherwise, it just seems like who the who cares. Yeah. Um, he maybe B. His, he screws the Death Guard so hard though. Yeah, he it's all gets his the, fault. The, the, like, the diarrhea. He's the treatment. eidolon of the Death Guard. <laughs> uh, next one is <laughs> Techless. <laughs> Put a baby in that man. I need to remove myself from this talk of conversation. <laughs> Colin, yeah, you, to be fair, where would you? 
He's one of my favorite characters, so I would put him in D tier because I like Necklace a lot. <laughs> Andy even hates beyond Island. the yep. horrible things I say about him. Uh, is, but I can't blame people for not liking him. Huge. If I remember correctly from my fantasy days, he's like the biggest <laughs> dick in fantasy, isn't he? Or is that Tyrion? No. 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 Teclis is like, there's a passage, I, I think. I don't remember what book it's from, but like Tyrion and Teclis are leading like human soldiers through Lustria. And Teclis is like. Is this End Times? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, Teclis is like, you know, the, the standard elf thing is arrogant. Humans live for like two seconds. Wow, who gives a shit? Mm-hmm. Teclis is like, that's, yeah, they have short lives, but that's their lives, man. It's the only one they got. And he's thinking like, fucking most elves probably would have let me die when I was, you know, because he was a sickly mm-hmm. tuberculosis baby because of the curse of Anarian. I, I can respect that. Then. Te- Teclis is a really that. chill dude when he isn't, you know, being end times writing and it's time to get Tyrion's daughter killed. Yeah, okay. I guess uh, that's where it was yeah. coming from for me. <laughs> I don't Donation hate by, um, oh, by War 66 you. again. It says, I thought this is a list on how evil they are, not a popularity list. If I went for popularity, then Disney villains were the actual <laughs> Eh, true but uh like attack us like again like his major issues with in that regard are like manfred mm. and then he, it's end times writing but unlike manfred he's not an asshole all the time outside mm. of the end times so it's like well really... i just think he's an all right guy but he's on a few major like dickhead moves. yeah he's uh he did Maybe also C-tier. try and kill all of the Ideneth deepkin <laughs> for really? no wrongdoing. <laughs> yeah, he was going to just get rid of all of them uh, because they weren't what he wanted. So <laughs> maybe C-tier move him up then? to C tier. Yeah. yeah. For the most Ooh. part, he's a cool dude, but every now and then, like something shines through, where it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> is that the, where am I trying to power through is, the list? Just he is also an elf. He is also <laughs> an elf. Yeah, he is yeah. also an elf. So yeah. immediate. Uh, next one though. Said, now Colin again can't do the next one because this one is Marathi, and this was the only image I could find I from Marathi that was. Oh no, I can make I, out I can. anything of that picture. I'll I'll even fully accept. Put her in at least a tier right now. She is a monster. <laughs> She's never nice or, yeah. Truly she does, disgusting. She has uh, sympathetic moments in the very like early years of the Warhammer setting, like it, chronologically within the universe, mm. uh, where she told Anarian uh, she loved him and he just turned around and left. It's just, <laughs> that's just sad. Can you blame him? Can you blame him? I don't uh, think she can. She could love anything. Uh, <laughs> you cannot fix that him. woman. Uh, yeah. and, she's, uh, she's bad for you, Colin. But stop. Then, then oh, she okay. then she caused. Probably about eighty percent of all wrong in the world. <laughs> you can probably trace back to her and Malekith. Neon LF Gray says, uh, "If John Grammaticus isn't S tier, mm. I riot." Honestly, John Grammaticus probably like I don't think enough people find enough necessarily in like the Warhammer community know who John Grammaticus is. He's kind of a book exclusive character. Mm. Or heresy. Eddie, I, I'm pretty sure Warhammer Plus at least is functional, even if it yeah, sucks. For real. Yeah. Oh, who is this uh, next, next one? Is these are kind of always compared together. The one that's next is Tybalt Mar, who's one of the Horus Heresy characters, who basically ends up killing loads of like nice loyalist characters. He's really like he's not Erebus here, but this guy basically just deserves a <laughs> kick in the face. Does he get killed um, by uh, Sigismund in the Warhawk? Loken, which I one? think Garbiel okay. Loken. And I, yeah, Horus, I haven't read any so of this Terra. guy then. I don't think so. You get he gets it. Uh, he's a bit of a background character that gets elevated to main character and then dies. Um, he I, maybe you can leave him in S. And he's gonna leave him in S tier because there's no way he feels <laughs> any differently about it. Uh, little Horus Axiomand again <laughs> killed a few favorite characters. Uh, you know, Tarek he's, he's my short king. He's my short king. He's not like that. World of Spies. I really wish he had survived the Siege of Terror because mm-hmm. he's quite Me too. coolish. Um, but he gets what he deserves. And he yeah. he's interesting at least though. So I don't think you could say that much badly about him. Next one though is Abaddon. <laughs> Abaddon is the, probably one is is S tier, unfortunately. Sorry, I think Ed. he's unfortunately I read sorry, read the read the Black Legion read sorry, the Black Legion but... books and maybe you won't hate him as much, but until everyone else doesn't, until the community actually reads a book, they, he will always be S tier. It is. I also, think Abaddon does go S tier. Yeah. It is also just partially not his fault. It was just the nature of the setting prior yeah. to the Great Rift in Seventh, where yeah. the whole point was like we're like we're like one second to midnight. The end yeah. is coming. It's just 
were freezing it in the snapshot right before it does. Mm -hmm. And so he was eternally for like 20 real life years stuck at yeah. about to blow up Kadia. It's coming for real any day now, yeah. which isn't his fault. I think that was a feature of the setting. Not exactly. A, not like a downside, but it did end up making him look like a bit of a fool. Yeah. Uh, I can't think. I don't think I can see the next one. Shadow Sun, I think. What? Shadow Sun. Shadow Sun, yeah. Oh, I get like this one is just is the reason Shadow Sun is hated because she's a bit of a nothing burger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't read her it's, new book though, so I don't know what's in it. She has I the like, personality uh, of exactly what you'd think a stealthy character would. Yeah, it's a bit. She's kind of supposed to though. Like she's. She kind of just lives in the shadow of other better yeah. Tau characters. I like how she outstealth the Raven Guard. That makes me mm -hmm. happy. Mm -hmm. And she's actually yeah. she has actually she has some cool moments <laughs> like when she's she one v ones Jake at Saikon and like melee, and he also she also yeah. Hebu Khan. Hebu, yeah, no, sorry, not the... Jake Tai, and so, not Jake uh, Tsai, so, huh? The Space Marine. Get the Space Marine. I don't remember his name. Um, it's the one who's on the playable. The chapter models. master of the White Scars. She one v ones Corsero in Khan. close combat. Corsero, Khan. Corsero, yeah, and and she also Mercy no. kills a White Scar. No. Instead of, putting him, instead of putting him in a uh, dreadnought, because she knows what will happen to him. So she's actually cool. Like, she has her moments. Uh, but she's a Tau, which makes automatically 50% of the community hates her. Jubal Khan, that's it. It was Corsoro. It was doesn't... totally Corsoro. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And he's just saying he likes Jubal Khan. Uh, I put her in at least B tier just because she's a Tau. So most people hate her. Uh, she got them hooves. All right, so she's Tau, so fifty percent of the popular of the forty yeah, K community hate, hates her, she's and hated by and default. she's a female, so that makes fifteen percent of the Warhammer community hate her. Uh, so sixty four, sixty five. <laughs> yeah, I put her in. I, I honestly put her. What in is what is happening? What is Andy doing? I'm sure Andy would put her in. Uh, in S for being a filthy Xenos. Oh yeah, Xenos see, I knew it. Scum. I knew it. <sighs> I thought he was just gonna write. She something. has good moments with the Space Marines, though, and like the like the Corsaro actually respects her as an opponent and stuff. Okay, if the White Scars like her, then you should like her too, Andy. Just just saying. That's true. The White Scars said God. she's doing all right. Mm -hmm. uh, next one though is Bellacore. I want to read the Bellacore. This guy can't Both catch a break. <laughs> he's, too, yeah. he's too pathetic to be hated. <laughs> yeah. Does, does, he ever, C does he ever take a W? No, I mean cool he was the first. ALS. He's First got a sick model. Ever chosen or whatever, isn't he? No, uh, he wanted to, he was originally the only demon prince. And then four realized, wait, we can we can make more of these and we, we can make our own share. ones. Yeah. Mm. Uh so Zinch, because Bellacor was getting uppity about it. He, uh, Who the hell says woman to? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. This is why you have no riz. <laughs> Jesus Christ, boys. Uh oh. next one uh is Archeon. I've I think he's he's more hated like in Archeon. universe. There's a bit I do uh, kind of hate about Archon, which is the whole I don't like being told what my destiny is, so I'm going to follow my destiny. I actually don't understand that plot line. I think, mm. I think he was like I think it depends. I think it used to be like he was trying to do like the theory that if you killed everyone ever, chaos would starve. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, as it turns out, <laughs> fantasy is a multiverse, so they could just yeah, put him somewhere yeah, else yeah. to hang out for a bit. <laughs> I think uh, he probably would have been liked a lot if it weren't for end times, and then he, you know, he beat everyone. I, yeah, if this was twenty fifteen, he'd be Arab. He'd be right next to Manfred. Yeah. But yeah. he's he has cool moments. Uh, I mean, I think he's. JP I like him more than Abaddon. Yeah, I, I like him, and he's got a cool model, and he's uh, it looks cool in Sigmar and you know, all of that. But some people just don't like him. I think like his I. I read this like online. Someone was like theorizing, so take it with a massive grain of salt. Mm. I think the idea was like now he's trying to use chaos as like a tool, where it's like, look, we kind of have to embrace it because clearly they're they've shown they can end the world once, might do it again. So he's now it's like a don't like he because he is undivided and he's arguably mm. a, almost a god now. So he's trying to go a little bit of a different route than just you know chaos, meh, but. He is still one of the guys who blew up the world, and he he can be a little bit boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he says Archeon slash Abaddon build. 
Yeah, um, the next one, though, is not a character, but it's an entire chapter, which is the Marines, Marines Malevolent. Malevolent. I love the Marines Malevolent. No, you don't. So much. Yes, they I are, do. They are, in yes, fact, the I worst do. thing that's do. ever existed this in the guy, this guy, This guy likes the Iron Warriors, but hates the Marines Malevolent. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. The Marines Malevolent Mate, The Salamanders awesome. had it right. Punch in the face. They, they, I, I mean, it is mostly due to uh, uh, Dreadanon's videos. Uh, that I like the Marines Malevolent now, but I still love them. And their color scheme goes hard. They I are really despised. Really they are rightly despised. Yeah, you know? but I like them. Doesn't matter. They are they mm. are hated. They are hated. Not by everyone though. Colin, do you even do you, as much as you, these are the Imperials you wish to die first? Surely the Marines Malevolent. I'd fucking. I'd, <laughs> their whole point is that they're supposed to be hated. DW put out like uh, when they had opened their 500 store, they had this bit like. 500 facts for 500 stores. It's like kind of yeah. goofy community posts they made. Uh, I th I think it was like number 28. The Marines and Malevolent are just the worst. <laughs> like their mission statement yeah. is make something that is just awful. <laughs> I love these guys. They succeeded. <laughs> they are guys. the worst. They just target civilians because why not? Jesus Christ. Just for fun. Um, next one is Asterian Moloch. Mr. Come I steal your blame artifacts. I can't people for hating this guy. He's just like somebody's OC put into into real Warhammer writing. I, I, yeah, it's a bit of I, someone's like it is very much like oh I'm overpowered. I I, I brought my previous character for my previous D and D campaign. Yeah, <laughs> he sure is cool, but he yeah his, but he's his whole cool in a way that it's cool when uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah. You take something you wrote as a child and yeah. puff it or something. Yeah. He Maybe is Mr. Too. Everything Proof Shield with the fucking custodians. Yep. I still love him though, because he's just he's just cool. He's cool cringe, I, yeah, I agree, Andy. I, I like agree. yeah. I I like him. He's he's a respectable cringe. And he looks so freaking cool. I he does, him. he looks yeah. sick. Next one is a uh, Huron Blackheart. I've I love kind this of man. a little bit he's better than Abaddon. He's the OG. It's the it's the, it's the Abaddon with with seasoning. Yeah, Boring well, he's well or written, Abaddon. Team. Okay, all right, okay. I I love I love uh, I love Huron, and his model's still so cool. Uh, I feel all like right, people do people don't really hate Huron, do they? I think well, he's he's a hated character technically. Hmm. He's just like uh, it, particularly on Pyrrhus side, he's just very much like. Uh, no, I wish this guy actually had a proper novel series rather than just campaign book. Could yeah, be so he, good. He just has like one off books. <laughs> Uh, time yeah, maybe the maybe D tier then for him. Maybe D tier, just because actually he's not yeah, despised, but he is like White Scars fans probably hate him. Is that Trazen? There is Trazen and Oricon. Technically, in right. universe, they are both despised yeah. by their own factions. <laughs> I think Oregon's kind of the a jerk. Necrons hate them. I, I don't think or I think Oregon's Oregon's kind of a dick. Jerk. He's yeah. a dickhead. I don't really like Oregon. <laughs> I think Orokin eventually... He's fine, but I don't like him. When he eventually realizes, like, what his end goal is, when he like, briefly yeah, achieves true. it, and he's like, it would turn me basically into, like, a pseudo Gitan like them. So he's like, Ugh. but he's still going to go try and do that and turn the Necrons into energy. They're, like, mm -hmm. they're, like, Dickhead. one of the whole points of Infant Divine is that they're opposite ends. Like, Trazen's mm -hmm. obsessed with their past. Orokin is only obsessed with the future. Mm-hmm. Trazen, though, my god, that the, he's hated by everyone in his museum, yeah. no doubt. Well, not not the community. The community hate loves him, though. He's I crazy. I don't think he's the freaking like God's gift to mankind, but everyone else seems to. So I don't really I, care. I'll be honest. I'm one of those. I love. Trazen. I know you are. I, I know you his are. Bits in Battlefleet Gothic, he's like, yeah. As as a Necron's play, enjoyer, like, as a Necron's enjoyer, I think the other Necrons. <laughs> cooler personally but i do like Trazen. i like his he's, old he's a flavor a more... you enjoy i don't know yeah. i think he's a little funny. bit too silly nowadays but nah, uh... i love that make goof he's a he's just a little goofball uh -huh. truly oricon's <laughs> face looking like He'll a randomly opener. abduct people and bring them to his museum <laughs> and complain <laughs> that they're too busy screaming for him to lecture them i'm on my <laughs> knees for Trazen, bro what okay <laughs> Okay. What is the uh, what's the next one there? I can see that. Oh, Goge Van Dyer. Uh, Goge Van Dyer. Also known as Doge Van Dyer from um, <laughs> Age of Apostasy. <laughs> I haven't read the book with about with the Age of Apostasy stuff. Is there a book or is it just like? It's not a book, lore? yet. Ah. 
So when we're done with the new 500 scouring novels, maybe we'll get that. Wonderful. All, um, I'm not going to read a single one of those freaking books, dude. <laughs> to be fair, though, this guy... Maxine, that's right, baby. He is pretty much just like, there's not a single person who likes him, surely. <laughs> God, I mean, it felt so good. I was being edged when he wasn't dying, when he <laughs> finally hit it, though. That was, the, that was the release. We have the Sisters of Battle because of him, though, right? That is the right one that I'm thinking of? Well, that's not because of uh, him, yeah. in well, spite of him. I mean, it, is, it, it was I mean, kind it of because, because of him. him. He's yeah. the one who formed them into yeah. like a military organization. He's kind of an Erebus, yeah. I agree. He's kind no, of no, an it didn't. It formed after him because of his death, and they said no well, men could. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but like yeah. The, that whole... Or- it came about because like the brides of the Emperor from the planet he took with him were so fucking dug in and good at fighting that the Imperial Fist couldn't get them out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn, I think yeah, he's S tier cool. though. He does belong in. He's maybe not the most hated, but like, he is pretty much just. Can I make fuck it that guy? Am I allowed to say Joseph Smith? Is that is that rude to say on the internet? Joseph Van, Smith. That Gorge Van. I, can I compare Gorge Van Dyer and Joseph Smith? Is that uh? Is Am that I gonna thinking gonna of like trouble? is that the guy from a cult? Oh, you got wow, you guys. I get okay. I live where a lot of Mormon. It, Joseph Smith is the founder. Oh, of, yeah, oh the, the founder of the right, Mormon the Church. Of the Mormon. Yeah. Bruh. I mean sorry to anyone who's Mormon in chat. Is he is he influenced by I mean not there's no gold bars bit. Uh, <laughs> only a bit too on the nose. I don't I don't think uh Goj Van Dye ever found sacred golden plates in the middle of the fucking Nevada desert. <laughs> or uh translated a, a certain Egyptian funerary texts. Listen, the way. Cthulhu Mythos book is a very ancient. So is it the um, the Necronomicon is a very sacred book, Eli. Don't you dare disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, Fabius oh, Bile. Fabius Bile, uh, my man, he's truly such a good character. Man, I hate him though. Oh my gosh, I freaking hate him. I love him, but I hate him. He's he ruined everything. He's a, he's awful. Yeah, he ruined every. He 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 Arabist my emperor's children. <sighs> but. But you, but you would anything, any more material about it, you would devour because it's good. Though. I'd, I'd work for him. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> he's he's better than Fulgrim nowadays, but also he could have brought us Emperor's children back, and then uh, and then he just decided not to instead because he wanted to do his. Move. But it's, it was because he's prideful and wanted to like do his own thing. He didn't want to be the Legion to be a thing. He wants the new men to be the next thing because he thinks he's too. He's his work is too important for uh, the Emperor's children to be united. <sighs> God, I need to do a video on that guy. But also, yeah, uh, also, they just didn't want to have Clone Fulgrim be in the plot line. Uh, yeah, thanks. To be fair, at least it is there, it's though. It's always, it's, it's always there, just if they wanted <sighs> to do something gonna, If it. they do 40k end times, then they'll bring him back, and then we won't have 40k one year later, so... I just need that Clone <sighs> Fulgrim to die to the real Fulgrim. Wah. <sighs> Because that's the only way we'll see him. I don't want that. Uh, the next one, though, is Illuminor Zeras. <laughs> this he's guy. In universe, everyone. Mad, he's in just uni- a magic yeah, mad he's, scientist. He's literally just generic mad scientist. Everyone know, in the universe hates this guy, though. This guy, like, well, even the other abominable. Necrons despise this guy. He's like, You don't want You never <laughs> want to this guy. His model's so cool, bro. But his model being so cool makes me jealous, jealous and sad that we don't have cool models for the other Necrons. But yeah. he's, you know, he's, he's, he's. I wish uh, with like I with Trazin's model, you could have a thing where like you could bring in allied units that are like battle uh, line from other things. That'd be fun. That'd be that'd so that'd actually be that would be a really cool way to do it. Though. Just like one unit, yeah. Just just like one unit. You can bring one battle, battle line, line unit from cool. another faction. I like the way uh, Port Hammer said it, which is it would be completely broken, but you can only have five hundred points of Necrons and everything else has to be some <laughs> other thing he's just oh thrown out there. That'd be funny. Bring out Horus yeah. Heresy models as well. I don't. I don't Ridiculous. know if anyone hates Illuminor Zeris though, because he doesn't have any book. He he's got the Emotech issue where he has he's the, in the like, animation almost no lore. Yeah, he's he's in the uh, Blackstone Fortress stuff, but that's pretty much it. Oh, Crimson Glory! Thank you, brother. Thank he you. says I'm late because of a star anonymous. Colin, you are the king of degenerates, <laughs> and thank you for the guilt bit. I was crying from <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was gonna Let me. I actually need to go have a look at that, that thumb, too. the thumbnail for a Stardust Anonymous, like because they that they cook with those. Um, mm-hmm. uh, start. 
I was gonna vote for Gilliman, and then we just yeah, he is in Pariah Nexus. That's true. I haven't seen Pariah Nexus. I'm lacking. <laughs> what is that? Is that Sigma versus <laughs> Emperor? All right. they're, they're both oiled up, shirtless, and ready to go. <laughs> ready to go. Uh, the and next the one though is their armor. Armin. <laughs> next one is Isaac Ariman. I wish I've read more of like he's not S tier, bro. He's actually like the thing is, he's not in a book where he's written poorly. Mm-hmm. He's done. And he's like he's crying, done a lot of bro. Time. No, like every book he's been in is good though. Mm. Like, as in, like the parts which focus on him. He's a very deeply <laughs> oh gosh, flawed Andy. character. And you cannot do that motion. We, we, we can we can talk about white scars right now, bro. <laughs> I, I rate for Ariman because his oh, his Ariman's only flaw is, is like he just doesn't give up. Yeah. And his version of doesn't giving up is I will save oh my, my gosh, brothers. Andy. Even if I had to step over an entire orphanage to do it. Yeah, I like that. I, I like that. I he's not like I, a fully, he's not like a full on, I'm evil because I'm like, just because I'm downright evil. He does, he does evil <laughs> things because he has to like try oh, gosh, and Andy. justify it in his own mind. I hope that he gets a new book and it's 99% the best like Warhammer book ever written on like undeniably. It's a phenomenal book. It's beautiful. And then the last page is he gets the black library and Kegarek hits him in the nuts and like yeah, whoopee cushions him uh, and just throws him to the warp. We should have put the Harlequins on this list. People hate the Harlequins, dude. Do they? I thought people liked yeah, them a lot. Because they're always playing. I don't. Right, well, yeah, is not S tier, top of S tier hated character. No, I don't agree with that either. No, right? he's like B tier. I don't think anyone hates Ariman. There are people who just don't know much about him or people who mm-hmm. actually read this stuff and they like him. I'd say put him B, yeah. Yeah. B. Specifically, reasons to not yeah, like. Yeah, there are absolutely there are reasons to people, not like him. Yeah, plenty of people don't like Armon. He is the he is Magnus 2.0 with the yeah, same he's arrogance. A thousand of, I know what I'm doing. I can do this right. A thousand sons are like the Eldar of Space Marines. Like half the commu- half the people just hate them. At least we yes, get books, I, though. I know what. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sit down. Uh, the next one though is my bo- Papa Zinch. Papa Zinch. Oh, fucking, you could put all of them in S tier except for yeah. Corn. He gets Erebus tier. <laughs> okay, okay. Calm down. I feel I like Zinch is it, probably one of the more hated ones. I think Zinch is because it's like it's always part of my plan. It's always part of my plan. Yeah, bro. Zinch knows everything. Oh, your source. Oh, is the Zinch demon told me. I don't think people hate Nurgle as much because Nurgle gets quite like people think Nurgle is actually nice for some unknown reason. Also, Nurgle is really freaking on the like tabletop design. I think Nurgle's so lame nowadays. He's just a goofy cartoon of a chaos of a chaos god. I don't like it. yeah. Even like I even don't like the Death Guard models. I'm sorry. I just I just think it all looks bad. And silly. I think the Death Guard. I mean, I thought about making like a thousand point Death Guard army, and I very much thought like, man, I need to like spice them up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it's but just, like particularly other factions like uh, Cornate stuff, like the World Eaters models, for like just the basic ones. Everything is looking pretty damn yeah, like nice. And Corn Eight Demons bound. look really cool. Yeah. Corn demons look cool. Zinch demons look cool. Slanesh demons look cool. Nurgle demons, the old ones look cool, but the new ones are just so freaking goofy. Like, there's a there's know. a um there's the demon they fight in uh the Dark Imperium series, like the first book called Quaramire, and it's described as like a dragon that constantly ages and de ages, so hmm. it switches from like new flesh to like old withered stuff and it's like constantly doing that and it's literally describes like a dragon demon mm. and there are like some other there's another demon of nilga i think which is like it's described as like insanely tall and it's basically like just gaunt bones and it like just clicks and clacks along so there are some like really cool demons mm. yeah in, well, the in the books stuff. he's cool yeah in the books nurgle is fine he does get overused i feel like i feel like nurgle's like the go-to chaos god it's the, most it's the safe option isn't yeah. it it's the safe option all the time. I don't hate Nurgle himself, but Tabletop, I do hate them. Lore, I don't mind. I think, really. but I'd even argue at this point then, technically Nurgle's more hated because it's overused. Mm-hmm. So people are sick of it. Maybe A tier. People don't really hate Nurgle, though. No. Not Most people much. love Nurgle. They, all Korn, thinks Korn he's is super nice. Corn is. Yeah, I I haven't met somebody who doesn't like corn other than Colin. To be fair, I think Colin's just really loud about it. 
I'm corn. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the corn one is a, a the corn one game. is missing a dimension. The all the other ones have. Yeah, but he is he's nice and simple. Like you get what you're looking for. I think Collins I mean, even said that before. Like, I, there's no lies being told with corn. You want to funga bunga smash. God. <laughs> Blood pact is really cool. Yeah, I, I think Korn's fine. Slanesh is I think people awesome. hate Slanesh. She, get, is... she gets a lot of hate for cringe reasons because nobody actually knows anything about her. But She gets hate from but, GW. But sex. <laughs> Eli, sex. Sex. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's tell it. me, tell me, tell me you That's haven't read is. a single Warhammer book without telling me you haven't read a single Warhammer book. Like, Slanesh, horny, horny did girl. you Did you just yeah. read a Warhammer book before marriage? Disgusting. Oh, my gosh. And also, <laughs> like, all, like, the guy who does freaking those stupid comics... He's like it's, he's probably a big reason why people think Slanesh is l- freaking lame. Oh my gosh! I think there's a lot of guys. I think yeah, that's a lot of people. Yeah. Who made, anyone who makes art of Slanesh. Oh my gosh! And I think one we're. Of, uh, oh, I won't. I've already even talked about it. I won't even talk about it. It's I think we've. Uh, that's the that's the the hatred tier list. In fact, we. I mean, I mean, Erebus and Manfred, they earned it. They truly, they truly are the worst. Oh, Commander's mighty schlong. Thank you once again for the donation. You produce your produce is safe for now, Colin. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh, Crimson yeah, Glory yeah. says, uh, "Corn is top of S tier. Go to the gym, eat healthy, get some sleep, collect skulls, and keep the nails that, from biting." That all the things you just said in that uh, sentence would make R slash forty k hate you. To be fair. So I mean, maybe he is a higher <laughs> up there. Is there a subreddit called like something mo- Marxism? Sig Marxism. That's, yeah. that's, like that's a, the cesspit there... of humanity, dude. You do not want to. Is go there like there. another one which is like the oh. opposite of that? Yeah, I there don't... is. It's like Horus something. It's it came about <laughs> recently. Oh my god! Do they? What do they do? Well, they have a list of. Uh, it's like red, green, orange of like woke, not woke YouTube mm. <laughs> channels. Mm. So you know they're the other end. Uh, Wait, are we on the list? I don't know. I don't know. Let me see, let me see if I can find it. Thank you, Kabunda. Yeah, Slash probably isn't D tier, but it, you know it's over. We got a Slash W. I'm taking it. If people want to hear my political opinions, there's only one thing that's really popping off in my local area, which is the bus routes. I won't lie. <laughs> every single there's nothing happening where I live, and the only thing that every sing, every single political party has put on our thing is we're going really passionate about bus routes. <laughs> so it's that's the that's the end of like politics for today. There's literally nothing else going on. <laughs> the, the 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 bus routes will be kept secure. Bro, bro, no, because the bus routes used to be better and they used to go through like each bus. different area, and now they're kind of they've all like the bus routes have been changed. If some of them have been taken off completely, so, you yeah. Europeans have no idea how good you have it. With your public transport, you know, so oh I can also gosh. walk to my town center. Yeah, in exactly. 30 minutes, we live in so. centralized city hell, and our it takes you two hours to get to the other side of my city, which is a ten minute drive. Uh, so, so don't, don't tell says, me what bad was. Hal, don't you live in Yaha Gul? No, <laughs> <laughs> this is not. Blood Colin blood likes blood. elves more than insulin. Uh, that's a bold statement. I, it's a, you know, that's a hard. That's I, a hard. I do one. quite like living, so. Mm-hmm. All right, brothers, this is the, the, hopefully, as long as Riverside will keep going, we'll keep (laughs) this one going. Next one is just a quick little cheeky Star Wars tier list. This is just media, uh, some games, um, TV, and some films. Some of these, I'm not going to lie, Star Wars has fallen off recently, but there's there's some nostalgia probably strong for some of these things. First one, though, is at episode nine. Is that episode yeah. nine? Oh, you just put Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, it's just bad. Just so. Can we put so n- just bad. nine and eight? Just yeah. Do we want to do Honestly, research, eight, so eight goes even talk. below. Like even uh, eight is even further should, down. Should we should we do a bit of a restart so Andy can participate? Yeah. I think the stream. Um, oh, yeah, the stream ends, might it? blow up. Then yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we we could, we could just keep t- like. Episode eight could just stay off the tier list. Like it's not even like worthy of being on it in the first place. Maybe, maybe only episode eight goes into dog shit tier yeah. list, and then episode nine because it's not eight goes into D. Uh, yeah, I mean, and he's not having any. <laughs> Chris and Gloria says when an entire country brackets Britain is the size of a state, public transportation is yeah, easier to do. I mean, but to be fair, we've got 
70 ish nearly million people in one yeah. state so and remember a lot of the uk is spread out like it's not as centralized apart from london obviously Al- but... alberta is like the size of most european countries and we have, we have like i don't know three million people <laughs> yeah it's empty awesome isn't it yep to Force most unleashed. Landed, i never played these I games but man, Force the unleashed games so cool. this is actually the There's best so one I haven't played. the thing is that like, colin colin did you play this what what um console did you play on I played this, God forbid, on the Nintendo Wii, I, and there are I, different I, I, I missions. So I, like, I like a controller input thing you put into like the Wii remote. Mm. There are different. the The starter mission is different on the Nintendo Wii. What is it? Oh. It's Kashyyyk, but it's nighttime. Huh. Cool. Like, I didn't realize there were straight up different missions at the beginning. Oh. I think there's a couple other ones too that are just for some reason different. Although some of that I'm sure is probably because the Wii U had the processing power of like <laughs> I I fucking rock. <laughs> I I God, it was um... throwing up gang signs down there. <laughs> this game was good just because I remember I don't know what the power it was, but the one where you could literally like turn yourself into like a black hole. <laughs> oh yeah. Good that stuff. was fun. Alberta uh, is one is Yandin. Book of Boba what? Fett. Like, this one was this. weird. I heard it was, was it not dog good. Shit? It's not dog it shit, like but it was very... It's just a nothing burger? Like, I felt like yeah. someone wrote this who maybe like saw Dude, Star Wars once. Andy, Andy listen, listen. I, I can what? tell that you're not happy with... Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. I can tell you that you're clearly not pleased, but hear me out. The, like, the five scenes Cad Bane is in it. Are fucking oh, wonderful I, that, scenes. That's all I saw is like, like one of those scenes. Like, come on, Cad Bane. The fact that you needed Cad to watch Bane, a deleted scene to get context, though, it, was really it wasn't a deleted scene. He's in the show. No, there's like a bit of a like explains like, oh, it was gonna be in like the animated show about how they parted ways or something like. Oh. Sparkles. Yeah, it's D. It's not. It's not dog shit. It's not, it's not, a not dog, dog shit. shit. Come on. It, it's not, it can't moments. be as bad as episode nine, can it? Can it? Really? Yeah, it, it, come on. Look at the look at what we're dealing with. It, it's not episode nine or episode mm. eight. Put it up. It was there. really mid, though. Really mid. Mid is not bad. Like, yeah, yeah it was boring. Yeah. And why did it exist? But... I couldn't put it in C though. He's adding another new tier. Oh. And he's got passionate Andy opinions still about the this. Oh, uh, what's this next one? Is it episode two? I can't tell. Like what? He's uh, trying to do something. Looks what like is, a book cover. I think that's Star Wars. Is that the original Clone Wars animation one? Oh, is it? I oh yeah, it is. Oh, that peak S tier. That one was actually it's really cool, damn yeah. cool. I've only, seen, I've only seen clips, but it looks so awesome. Shout out to the Grievous, uh, yeah, General Grievous scene cool. that made the me scared. The only thing that did General Grievous good. <laughs> <laughs> literally Bless. the only thing he's cool he gets like, so he gets so God. cucked by writing and every other th- oh man dude he showed up it was just like oh we had five jedi we had he, yeah he was cool in some moments in clone wars to be fair but in episode three oh my my baby boy grievous my poor my poor baby boy uh the next two are i almost i would almost put these two together because they're kind of just I as good as each either, other but they look jedi something. survivor and the other I one i haven't played them I think the second one is a little bit. I remember just the there's that Darth one. Vader scene in the first one. The bad. second one, I think it was a bit too yeah, like, like long winded. The second one, I not uh, granted again, not having played it, all I really knew about it was that it initially on launch had such memory leak issues mm. that you could have a fifty thousand dollar PC <laughs> and you couldn't run the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> like it would just eat your computer. The uh, next one, Force Unleashed Two. So, now say... this one was pretty. It wasn't as good as the first one. I went. I wouldn't say, but it's pretty <laughs> good. Goaded. Honestly, just put it like right below the Force Unleashed one and A tier because Force Unleashed. But again, which you know, I liked Force Unleashed yeah. more. Force Unleashed. Oh my gosh, Andy! It was a bit short though. <laughs> Did do you feel that as it, well? It was very short, uh, especially compared to the. I mean, neither of them are super long games, but yeah, the second one came and went a lot quicker. Uh, the ending was a bit. Mid as well. Kotor, um, top of S tier. Top of S tier. Not, yeah, top right of S tier. Nice Old Republic. Fuck. Uh, I tried. I kind of tried it like at one point, but I didn't really get into it. Dude, it's. When did you play it? That's is, a this, the, is this the online game, right? No, no, no. Oh, this oh, is okay, the original one. one. Okay, I haven't played this. Since. Darth Revan. Darth yeah, Revan. Andy's playing it. 
Mm. It needs this one. This one needs like a not a remaster, but a remake, which mm. I think is they cancelled that. So I, they cancelled it, then uncancelled it, then cancelled it, and then maybe it came back. It's that thing is in development purgatory. It's not even <laughs> development hell. <laughs> Bloody shit! It's like it's Sekiro for dummies. I think that's for Force Unleashed Two. Mm. True, but I mean it was. But it's Star Wars. Yeah, uh, but but no, it, it, when it came out, great game. Mm. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic Two though. I'm going to say something controversial. Oh. It's not as a good... It the character go in, development in it is really interesting. Very good character. It should go in B tier, because if you ask someone, how should I play this game? They will, without fault, tell you, you... I, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the... Writing. The writing was good in the second one. The writing was really good in the second one. It's just like, you ask someone, like... Yeah, I'm thinking about playing Nice Little Book 2, and then they go, Yeah, it's a great game, but you really need the, you know, the unofficial edition and the cut content and this <laughs> patch. It's like there's so many things I feel like people tell you you need to add to Kotor 2 to make it the mm. peak experience. It's like, well Yes, yes, Crimson Glory, his mic did that. <laughs> it's not his mic that's broken. It's, it's Riverside, Riverside that's broken. broken. But next week, but, next week we might be on something else. Maybe. Blood Nice Little Republic has the best deconstruction of Star Wars. Like in the entire series, it's just generally something more. It's contributed something to the franchise, which most of the other things on this list just won't of. Now, Someone also got confused and added a chaos god as the main, like, as the final <laughs> boss. It's like, oh yeah, Darth Nihilus, what did he do? Oh, he ate a planet. You mean he ate a planet? He ate it. <laughs> kind I do of cool, really though. like the, the occasional Star Wars lore that's just, like, insane. Like that. That is awesome. Uh, the next one is that Star Wars we got Lego. A of by the way, uh, bloody oh, sorry. music two. Thank you. It's Sekiro for dummies. I'm assuming I that was about Force Unleashed. Oh, he, was, he was talking about. Uh, he mentioned later he was talking about uh, Survivor. Oh, oh sorry, man. Sorry. Uh, H me a love. Thank you. Uh, though, I was about to replace the Lego Chewbacca PFP, but you guys have told me back in. Good man, you keep that PFP. You keep it. Is, it, is that the Fortnite Lego? Like Star Wars thing on here yet? Nah. Okay, the um, Lego right. Star Wars. I might. I'd be honest. I might put Lego Star Wars all together, just because it's in my mind. It's almost like one thing. The new games are a lot different, though. Uh, they talk, uh, and I don't like that. Them. The original Old, ones. Oldest o- original Lego Star Wars is totally S tier. That's my childhood. That's, that's everyone's childhood. It's so fun. I mean, that's and even like, like the like the free on. play zones the complete are fun. Saga. To be in. There you go. Yeah. Dude, starting a fight in Dexter's and just yeah, because you're bored and you want to see the Legos <laughs> kill each other. Okay, the but the next one though, it's peak. This is the it's game where like no one I knew in real life so had played this game, and I bought it in like a like just a regular old like, CEX shop. I think at the time I was like, I, I, I literally cannot explain. Like I knew nothing about this game, and I got Star Wars Republic Commando, and it oh, fucks. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Do you ever play the multiplayer, Colin? A I, little bit. Not really. I played with. I played a lot of the multiplayer, over. and people were good because because like the multiplayer was dead at that point. So there's like one or two servers left, but the only people who were playing it <laughs> were people who were loved good. it. <laughs> My God, that game was. I don't know why they didn't make the Order sixty six like second one. My God, that was mm. so much fun. This one for me. I don't think everyone would agree, but for me personally, it would, it would get into like probably the bottom of S tier. Hmm. I haven't played it. I don't know. Sure. Oh man, I just couldn't like. It had like some really cool, neat features, like certain like interaction. You actually like felt like a proper like commando Dude, unit. It was honestly my favorite, like one of those tactical shooters because the AI of like the rest of Delta Squad was competent to the point you could trust them to do something. But they weren't so competent that it was like, well, why am I here? Why am I? Why do? Why do I even need to be here? The AI is showing me up, which is such a hard spot because most of the time, your AI teammates are just brain dead, mm. and the rest of the time they usually just sweep. So mm, the fact that you could also like you set up your own sort of miniature like defense system, like putting some guys on turrets, some guys on things, and like, God, I miss this game. Okay, me dear. Beat it, Andy. Andy, Andy, I actually will find out where you live. God, um, the gunplay no, was not happen. mid. You're insane. The oh, gunplay was mid. You are. Andy, Andy, is the Andy, Andy can type in the chat. Oh if you, my uh, gosh! Also, <laughs> oh, we had a donation. 
Drunken Cal 13 <laughs> says, uh, I've been scammed. This ain't 40k. We just, <laughs> we did 40K we're a little bit further in, bro. brother. We do 140k to like an hour and a half of 40k. Yeah, hour and a half of 40k. <laughs> and now it's um, just a finishing tier list. Is that Rogue One? I like Rogue, Rogue One. One. It, it, has, it has the Darth Vader scene. It, it wasn't a masterpiece. I, I don't know. I put it. Probably I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. I think it was fine. I've watched that film once, and I don't think I'd ever watch it again. I think it's it it, it, it because it came out around the same time of seven and eight. It felt really good when you watched it because it was just so much better, much than, better than, the than the rest of the other one. Uh, but like, I mean, yeah, it, it, I think it gets beats here. It was more than a fifty percent for me. I think it was like it's a it's the weird thing is like I think it's a good film, but you could almost be forgiven without. You could literally think, oh, this in this won't even be a Star Wars film necessarily. Like this is an all right mm. film. I I liked it. Or on a weird on a weird like spot, like if it wasn't tied to Star Wars, would it be a good film? So it's like eh, it's, it's well, it was cool. It's decent. Yeah, it was, it's a good it was, movie. It was a fun movie. The Darth and, Vader seat is the only thing you will ever yeah, go back yeah. to having something but... having something that was enjoyable to watch in that that era of Star Wars was like a blessing all in its own. So and I don't know. I'd like. I feel like I'd rewatch a lot of the other Star Wars things here, or like play a lot of things. I don't think I'd watch Rogue One again. Mm. Like I've I've enjoyed it and it's well, over. Yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't watch seven, eight, or nine ever again. Mm, if I no. if I showed up to something and they were showing Rogue One, I I wouldn't mind. Like, mm. yeah, I mean, I w- I'd rather watch Rogue One over any of those. Um, Bad Batch, the next one. I've only I'm not watched lie, the first episode. I've not been keeping up with this, but I know people it. have enjoyed it. People really yeah. like it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, dog shit. They killed Scorch. <laughs> sad. It didn't seem like the same Maybe, as. Yeah. It did not feel like Clone Wars to me when I watched the first episode, but it seemed okay. Like it's made one really good thing, which was it's actually f- properly made sense of the gap between the Republic and then the Empire, mm. as in it actually shows you like a the slow transition. Yeah, like the clones training the stormtroopers. Mm. And so it, it's one of the few things that have like sort of in a way fixed Star Wars, sort of like as in it makes like almost like a, like a complete story. Mm-hmm. So I, maybe I, I'm willing to give it like a C tier. Mm-hmm. Well, I think people who probably people who are like a big Warhammer fans, the the problem is so Star Wars fans is that it's it's the it's the okay Star Wars thing at the moment compared to yeah. all the, the other dog shit thing. So it gets a much higher rating yeah. than it really deserves. Star Wars fans cope harder than Warhammer fans. I'm convinced. Yeah, we've always we've That's always tough. get at least we're we're still getting decent like especially, especially law stuff. We're getting decent books and mm. things at the time. I've not Andor, watched this, but I've only heard good things about it. I just I, again I actually haven't seen I've, Andor, but I've I know heard it's, it's very good. I heard it's very good. <laughs> and, <laughs> Andy is Andy's I mean Andy, Andy we, we can give him this one without arguments. Right. I'm still upset nope. about Republic Commando being B tier. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, I haven't Andy, even played the Andy game and I know that it's S tier. Fine, fine. <laughs> Uh, what's the next Jedi one? Knight I don't know what that is. That Jedi looks Academy, like the Comstar yeah. logo. What is that, Andy? You don't Knights know. Okay. Of the... I guess it gets mid I'll leave it in mid. <laughs> sure. Star Wars Battlefront. Is that the, f- is it the first one? No. The no, one? the first one's right below it. I don't know. No, what that's that not is. Battlefront. Oh, is it? Is it could be the DS version. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. Andy says <laughs> one circle, two circles, one. It's a character with a just a red lightsaber. Is this a Sith? I don't know what that one is. To be hang fair, hang on, hang on. Star Wars. A- Andy, Andy, bro, it's like charades. You can't just keep doing the same thing and expect me to know what Eight? you mean. Oh, so, um, what? Obi Wan. Oh, it's the Obi Wan series. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> oh my god. I have not watched this either. Uh, I heard oh, it was coming um, in, but they, thanks, Andy. Honestly, <laughs> this one was not that good. I didn't hear good things. About it was that not that good. I. It was a big. It was a big nothing bug. <laughs> this mm. one. Can we can we just jump ahead and put solo right next to it? Like I, I didn't. Are we gonna have a productive conversation about fucking solo? It Maul was all was right. It. Cool. Yeah, Darth Maul was in it. Other than that, I don't. I, I don't actually, think it's not dog shit. It's not dog yeah, shit. Yeah, I, 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 I went to it in Calgary. Uh, I just doxed myself with my friends, and we went. We saw it in uh, the uh, D box seats, and so there's lots of space scenes, and you were flying around the whole time, and it was, it was a fun. Again, it came out in time of like seven and eight era, so watching something that wasn't I can't completely like terrible. What Andy's doing. It's kind of nice. Dog shit. It know, was mid. It was mid. Dog shit, but it doesn't need to really exist. Like yeah. it's kind of a pointless movie, but you know, it's 
okay. It's, it was fun to watch and it had Darth Maul. Is the, uh, the next one, is that the original? Is that, what kind of original is that? Is that a new hope? Episode looks... 4? Oh, fucking A tier. Yeah, for, I, I guess tier for me. I love episode 4. I'm all, No, I'm I only saying A tier because it's competing with Empire Strikes Back. Uh, you know, that's Yeah. Fair. To be fair, fair. Like, even now, like, just, if you actually just randomly just rewatch the like original Star Wars trilogy, like, at some point, you're like, I just forget how good it is. There, is there's just, a reason Star Wars is still around because the yeah. no, but you just is like every time you say like you say wow it really was like cooking like but uh, I didn't experience I, it from like oh it's like the most brand new like you know revolutionary thing ever Andy I'm gonna negotiate with you put it <laughs> bottom of S and I'm only again Empire Strikes Back Empire yeah, yeah. Strikes Back Empire is such Strikes a better Back movie. is top of S tier I I love Kotor and the cartoon cartoon more than I like Episode Four. It's a phenomenal That's movie. Fair. I'm not debating you on that. I just think that a lot of the things in S tier are just. And Colin's actually better. seen some of these movies. That's crazy. <laughs> I, 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 oh my gosh. My, when, are, when is it going to be our turn to control the tier list? Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> my mom hates Star Wars, but my dad fucking loves it. Next one yeah. is Star Wars Rebels. I didn't. I watched you know what? It's This one is a. It's either C. I, I, it's best it was B on certain things because like certain things and characters I, and things I did I did watch back. the Maul versus Obi Wan scene and that was very very was, very well done really good. that was incredible it was but I haven't watched the show I watched a few episodes and thought this is dumb and I, just, I definitely like, like it, it does suffer from it, it's a worse like they weren't ready to make mm-hmm. Rebel like they basically Disney had bought star wars and they basically went all right we need some new shit make rebels so it wasn't like a organic creation yeah, it, it felt like the like more of a kid's version of uh <clears throat> clone wars when i've watched it maybe it got better but so i, I can't no, say I, sure. I do agree with c tier it had very good moments but overall it was just kind of mm. i don't know what the next thing is what is that i don't know what i'm looking at i can't tell at all visions Oh, that was like that Damn. anime thing they did. Oh, yeah. I never watched it. That was kind of like the crossover it. one. Some of those were cool. Yeah, some of them were cool. I think maybe B tier. Like, some of them mm. were pretty cool. It wasn't like you know, anything like game changing, but it was cool. What's the next one? I'm trying to read that. <clears throat> Is that that's uh, um, an that's Empire... either New Hope or the last. Sorry, uh, Last Jedi or Empire Strikes Back. One of the two. S-tier. That's Empire. Empire, Wait, no. yeah. Oh, it's Empire yeah, Strikes Back. That's, 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 sure. that's, that's yeah. it. Phantom we Menace. We don't need I to won't, talk about it. I won't lie. It has Darth Maul in it. Phantom Menace. <sighs> like, I have. Like, yes. What are the rest of the movies that isn't yeah, the 10 minutes yeah, with yeah, Darth yeah, Maul? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you, this comes from the guy who is Jar Jar Binks' biggest fan. And Jar Jar Binks <laughs> is the biggest character in this movie. <laughs> Okay, it's 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 a D tier movie, but the last ten minutes make it C tier just because Darth Maul. You used to save me. Like, where's the, where's the <laughs> fucking where's the holiday special? Oh my god! Also, boss, where's also, my holiday special? There's cool, there's cool many, scenes in it, like the also, the Gungans many, place is really cool. How many a new hopes are there? Am I looking at the new? No, what am I? I don't uh, know what that thing is. Is that I like Luke pointing a mean, gun? Uh, I kind oh, of so the, the, the next that, one is Phantom Menace. Put it okay, in D. Put, I think what it's C. It's C because Darth Maul is so I have, cool, bro. When I, I'm sure we've all watched, like, for us, The Phantom Menace was probably one of the first ones we watched just because when we were mm-hmm. kids. Okay, we're... I, I mean, I'm, I watched I'm the original young, trilogy I'm a young fella, first. Andy. I'm tw- Colin and I are 20 years old, all right? All right? Just how it is. <laughs> I've watched the I watched the Phantom Menace <laughs> on VHS quite a few times when I was like, like growing mm. up. I was like, this thing was like, oh, it's so cool. Oh yeah, I love. Obviously, it watching it again as an adult, watching it again as an adult, you're like, man, this, <laughs> this drama play is oh, amateur. Man, it's so bad. And there's some gem moments in it though, but it's yeah. just Phantom Menace has. Dude, it's all the heart, but none of the sustenance. I think, Jim, I think it deserves C still. I shout out to Padme grooming a child. No, yeah, for real, bro. I mean, she was, what, 14 or something in that? I don't know. I'm making the It's joke. still weird, but yeah. Okay. It's just, again. Star Wars The Clone Wars? Clone Wars we S- We up. messed up. What did we... What did we fuck up? What do you mean we fucked up? Ominous. Ominous. Oh, wait. It's one of the top ones, isn't it? Not... Holiday, holiday special. Is that the top? 
Wait, uh-huh. where's the holiday special? There isn't a holiday special then. Oh, I think that's <laughs> that is the holiday special. I've never <laughs> seen it. I I've never that one seen it. Sorry. Was a new hope. The Last holiday year, special, anyway, by the way. Keep, keep it up there. <laughs> keep it up there. <laughs> oh, we got five dollars from Stephen Cooper. Thank you. Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, not here. Haram soldier beats here. <laughs> solid beats here. Thank you for the five dollars. Eli says Crimson Glory. That is my name, Crimson Glory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we've established. <laughs> but, I think he's more like Eli. Put, that take. Put, put Clone Wars in. Clone Wars in A. Is S tier. Come on. Mm, there's, there's. I don't know. There, there was actually. Now hang on, hang on. Though is that? Oh no, the the animated movie is farther down the list. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, there's I, not so you know what? Not so bad. Bad. <laughs> you know what? I'm willing to put the Clone Wars right next to its counterpart, Clone Wars, in S tier. I hope you're not talking about because genuine, genuinely, oh, Clone oh, Wars, the animated one, has been carrying yeah. Star Wars it had for like the some, last ten it years, had some, fifteen it had some years, even not great stuff though. Mm-hmm. It has some damn good stuff though, isn't it? Yeah, as well. it had some absolute bang. That's why it's a tier because it's not affected. Filler, it's not though, affected like. by what you know, like cameras or humans. It literally mm-hmm. could just do what it needs to do. Mm-hmm. And not, I won't lie, like I wished for like when we were young, like even like if we were just a little bit younger. And I growing up for us, if like our current it Star Wars w- media was the Clone Tom, Wars, it would been going. Can, can we? Me, can baby. we? Can I? Can we address Tom Warren's two dollar donation? Thank you, Tom. Oh, can sure somebody thing. tell me what this is from? Is this? Is this from a I, holiday I special? Think, I think he made that. Oh no, that might. Chewie's be. dad watching <laughs> VR smart <laughs> deserves this. What, what is this from? Colin's currently looking up Chewie's dad watching VR. His name smart. was Ada Chitcock. <laughs> <laughs> I feel what? I don't feel good for having said that. <laughs> oh it, my god! Holiday man. special. Why did that even uh, happen? Appearances. Oh, what Deck the, the hell halls, was life all smoking? <laughs> Should we have Robot Chicken uh, Star Wars on here? Is that the, oh, family, that the Family Guy? <laughs> family Guy Star Wars. Family Guy Star Wars episodes. <laughs> oh, da, 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 you were not. <laughs> You will not see my man. I can't even Chris. <laughs> no, I guess Chewie's dad was a <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront 2 S-tier is tier S tier. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm going to send a mail bomb to the guys who made the new <laughs> in Minecraft, but also in real life. <laughs> in Minecraft. In Minecraft. We do not endorse oh. that on all crimes. YouTube algorithm gods. Mm-hmm. Uh,. Ooh. That one must be one of is that Return that's, of the Jedi well, or is that, that yeah I think that's Return of the Jedi no that's Rev, um, Empire Strikes Return Back Jedi. no yeah Return of the Jedi because he's got the green mm. oh the green lightsaber is S tier for me that was like the coolest thing as a kid I, I love it this. is the not green it is the not the top of S tier I didn't say top of S tier it's just wait and it says wait 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 we going to clarify which one it is the seer is writing. Ewoks. Ewoks. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're right. Oh, you're put it, right. Put it oh, down. Can... You're right. Yeah, you're that right. actually makes it worse. It gets A tier for the Ewoks. Yeah. The Ewoks is truly like. The Ewoks is crazy. Again. Oh, oh. George. Andy, get, Andy get, get fucking Return of the Jedi out of S tier. Get it off the top of S tier. <laughs> what are you doing? You are insane. <laughs> Andy just doesn't. There's not, there's Andy's not democracy an Ewoks when lover, Andy's in charge. <laughs> Uh, yep, he's he's an Ewoks lover. That doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> oh no, no, we've got them wrong. Empire Strikes. The next one here is a New Hope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because okay. we put the holiday special on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got, a New Hope is, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> what do you it's mean? Pretty, it's like it's pretty awesome. It started the whole journey. It is the beginning. Yeah. I okay. <laughs> Andy's not happy with you. If if that's logic we're going by, a new hope also led to episode eight. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah whatever. I mean, uh, I mean, I would want if I was going to watch any of the Star Wars films again, I would probably watch a New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. Like if, if I said right now I want to go watch a Star Wars film, I'd watch those two. Yeah, I'd watch that in that order though, just because like Return of the Jedi, like I don't mind missing out. For a little bit, but those two, you just, I feel like they're gonna be one film. <laughs> DJB says Andy's a poor collector. That's very funny. Next one those though is things from the first movie. The next one movie. is I hate sand. It's coarse and rough. Uh, it's and it better than everywhere. it's better than Phantom Menace. 
it had, the think, clone I scenes think, are pretty cool. Genosis is really cool. I, the last 15 minutes of both uh, of those movies I are know, cool. I, I know. know. Okay, okay, Django Fett. Django Fett and Boba Fett are in it. They're really cool. They're definitely the characters. Count Camino is probably... really cool. It has a lot. Like it, it looks way less goofy and it has a lot cooler like things in it. And then Count Dooku and Yoda. and Oh my gosh, Andy. It's better than Phantom Man is. Come on. Oh it is it. I, I agree. It's worse. It is worse. Wow. Okay, there's n- uh, Crimson Glory says, Fortunate Sons plays as I fight through yeah, evil, which is a Crimson. You guys like oh, you guys like the Jar Jar Binks movie more than episode two. That's crazy. Jar Jar Binks is, is ambassador in Attack the Clones. <laughs> uh, next one, though, this is Swotor, the online game. I won't this lie, I I've had a playthrough of this it. when it came out. The story mode missions are like, the voice lines. Some of these are so hilarious. If you look up, like, if anyone looks up Swotor Smuggler Lines, it's actually so damn funny. <laughs> it's like quite, oh, yeah. the gameplay is nothing to get crazy about, but honestly, it's, it was an enjoyable game. Hmm. I think it's pretty safe the where it is, B tier. The freaking trailers get, the trailers themselves. Oh, the are trailers are like, the trailers are actually well, better Star Wars really... than current Star Wars. One ninety nine. Thank you for I Parker. See, my summary. problem with Swotor is that every time I think of it, I think of my friend who is an insane man <laughs> and buys <laughs> the MMO disease. I don't know. I don't know if he still does this, but at least until a lot more recently than he should have. If you're watching this, by the way, I am talking about this. <laughs> Fuck you. He would buy like all of a new item, and then the price would go up in the in-game stock market, and he would have all of it. <laughs> Because I remember he you had told, the yeah, accounts since it like that. launched. That's so funny. Uh, Parker is asking, "Where is Ahsoka?" And thank you for the two dollars. I guess it's not on here. Who I cares? didn't watch Ahsoka. I heard it was mid as well. Uh, but I don't know. It's a bit poor. Like it was, the problem with Ahsoka is it was just like we were all being edged, being like, "Oh, it's going to be good <laughs> any moment now." Uh, like it was building, 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 and then it like it, there's no payoff. It's like ah. Uh, so annoyed at Star Wars. Oh, this is the Battlefront. Is Battlefront uh, two is remake. The first I one? I th- this f- yeah, the first. No, the, the first, first one. one yeah. The first one gets dog tier, bro. They fumbled it so bad. I remember the release being just horrible. It looked pretty cool, but again, like they had like problem with loot boxes and. Yeah, it, it was. It, a... uh, all they had to do was make Star Wars Battlefront two with pretty graphics, and instead they just they made loot box game, Call of Duty, uh, Star Wars. Now the original oh, Star Wars yeah. Battlefront. This that's, one was. Yeah, I had this yeah. on the original Xbox that's when this stuff. came out. This was again childhood. This was this started the journey. That goes so, with Battlefront Two. Battlefront Two is ahead of it for me personally because I played more Battlefront Two. Uh, yeah, I put it in A tier. To be fair, this one. I put it. It's better than. Lines. Yeah, that's about that's right. Fine, it, I guess. It, it had a glow up at the end of its life. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. EA then killed it, and its opening was yes, play fifty hours for only Darth <laughs> Vader. It's a sense of pride and accomplishment. Yeah. You insane, greedy yeah. bastards. <laughs> Next this one is, is... Revenge. This is the best of the prequel trilogy, I think. Yeah. Revenge of the Sith. It's at least A tier. It's at least A tier. I think Boss yeah. Melee though, because really it's like got it. glaring it's issues. Got a few issues, yeah, but it's got a nice story overall. General Grievous is in it. Which is awesome. Cool even stuff. if they dog on him, even if they dog on him, he's in it. I would, um, I would just, I would, if I had to watch the prequel stuff, I would just ignore the first two and go watch this one again. Mm. I would put it in bottom of A, just because it, yeah, again, fight scenes are damn cool in this one. The Jedi get it. Andy, <laughs> Andy, Andy, get Andy it. doesn't like it. Andy doesn't like it. I think B it's not about right. Andy. It's about everyone. <laughs> Clearly, it is about Andy. No, Andy, you stick to your guns on this one. Hey, hey. Stop oh, it, Colin. It's a good movie. Disrespect. No. There you go. There we go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I think of TK778 has okay, prevented oh, the Sith's A tier. Star Wars The Clone Wars, the movie. Um, oh, shit. my God. I, yeah. I got this for my birthday on <laughs> DVD, man. <laughs> It sucks. Yeah, I don't yeah, know how the Clone great. Wars got greenlit after that. Yeah, I, uh, this thing, this thing, this thing fucking dragged its life as corpse so that the Clone <laughs> Wars animated show could run. <laughs> it's better than Episode Nine. Uh, yeah, put it, put yeah. it above the dog shit. Just for the clone of the it's, it's actually yes, better than Boba dies, Fett. Then... To be fair, not, it's not better in, than Boba Fett. No, no, keep it in dog shit, but put it above Episode Nine and dog. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 
Okay, that one, episode seven? All right, episode seven, I think, is D tier because yeah. it's just a new hope again, but it's yeah, it's fine. It's I, yeah, I went to see this in the cinema and I was like, I remember thinking, okay, this Star Wars could be okay. This could be like good. This could be could be good. Mm-hmm. And then they kept I, it. Then they I, yeah, I, remember, well, I remember leaving the movie theater with my buddies and being like, was that was that good? Because <laughs> yeah, I do good. remember thinking that. Like, I was like, I was like, I don't, I didn't feel anything. I felt, I just felt empty after watching it. Like it was just like soulless. It's just soulless movie. Shout out to Harrison Ford only agreeing to do the movie so they'd finally uh, kill him off. And just, <laughs> like I don't want to have any more questions about Star Wars. <laughs> so, Battlefront Two is better than the. That's first actually a pretty good game. Yeah, no, that that's one, actually yeah, a that really good, good game. Around. Yeah. I, again, I like I'm saying, it started least, horribly. Sure. Top of A, I'd almost put. I'd actually put. I, I'd, of honestly, a. I'd put it in there. I had a lot of fun playing Battlefront Two. I've enjoyed but actually, the little I've like, played of it. If they keep it, if they kept it, giving it a bit of life now. Look, yeah, that'd be great. I'll say those like those missions where you had to destroy the enemy star destroyer, like you were on the ground until you retreated or advanced to the enemy ship, and then one side was holding the line for the generators, mm. another was trying to push. Those were fucking yeah. fun. We can play that on stream sometime. Does it still work? Yeah, Battlefront Two. It's the most recent one. I assume so. I, I think it's yeah. It's still, I mean, if they made it free to play. That would have an active play, player yeah. base to this day. Mandalorian. Ooh, I the first this is this is difficult now. It started. Really get into it. It started. Yeah, started yeah, phenomenal. The first episode was awesome. <laughs> Amen. That's it, all I've seen. Yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna bit funky. I won't lie. Mm. It's one of those things where like uh, it's like certain shows you can tell like they need to. I wanted to finish so like it can stay good. <laughs> Frick off, Colin! I just saw the Doge meme. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> R.I.P. Doge. This time, yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, so it... Peace, man. Yeah, just today there was. God, was so rest- the damage, and he says the damage BF2 did is not negotiable. I mean, uh, I don't think it's that bad, man. It was fun from what I played. So, as as, as a, like a as a version of a movie tie-in game. It's way better than what mm. most things are. But I'm, oh, wait, wait, what, was the, um, what was the last one we did? Star Wars Battle. Oh, oh Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Sorry. I feel like it's worse than Maybe bottom of A. Maybe bottom of A. I've got a holding out hope it can finish strong. All right. Because sure. right now it's not bad. It's just a bit average at the moment. The ending yeah, bit now. Yes. Grogu became but, a new thing for moms to for moms to post. The the Facebook, fucking I Luke guess. Skywalker. I mean, maybe a bit of a weird CGI, but like the Luke Skywalker return, and he's actually like not ruined as a character. Hmm. Is still like I would still like I hope that's like god tier that small section anyway though. Hmm. I think uh, with that being said, though, I think we're happy with that. Are we always? We're happy yeah. with the. Uh, yeah. That was not not too much arguing for once. I mean, we all like. I think we all pretty much like Star Wars quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we all liked Star Wars quite a lot. I'm sure at one point though. I think many yeah. I mean, who people like Star Wars. Who like, yeah. many people who know have come to 40k or like fantasy or stuff like that. They were probably originally like massive Star Wars fans, and then now. You know, mm. we were like, you know, we're inevitable, like Thanos, you know, <laughs> what started you led that led you back to me. I am mm. inevitable. <laughs> um, DJB says, Mike GF at the time from Mando. <laughs> Hated Grogu. Grogu. <laughs> I'm glad she's behind you, brother. Hated yeah, Grogu. I think I would kick Grogu, Grogu in the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> would you? Would you, Colin? Throw Grogu as hard as you can and get that spiral going. Dude, you know, you know that you know that scene in the first Avengers movie where Hulk is just like kind of whipping Loki around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the the I think I would. I think I would do that uh, to Grogu. He's like a hundred years old, right? You can say that. Is a baby. Uh, pff, like a hundred year old baby, isn't he? It's still a baby. Yeah, hundred year old yeah, okay. baby. Right, yeah, you're right. Oh, I would yeah. Omni Man him. <laughs> Think, Grogu, think. <laughs> um, well, with that being said, though, I think everyone, thank you so much for joining us yeah, for the thank you. hated characters tier list and the Star Wars vitriol slash nostalgia tier list. Um, God, I wish Star Wars hadn't fumbled the bag. Uh, it's, I mean, it's Disney. Like, can you really expect? Oh, someone's a sick bed, Colin. Thank you, Shane, bro. 
appreciate you, brother. Wearing level one clothes in an MMO fighting game. Okay, that's funny. People are mine, he is 50 years old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> correction. Um, <laughs> we'll be hopefully back with new streaming software so Andy doesn't get yeah. <laughs> ruined out by... Uh, oh, we, got, six, we got a donation six, before we're done. Oh, thank, thank you, brother. I, if you do a most evil factions, can I suggest tier names be Eberus? I think you meant Erebus there. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Pure evil. I I apparently can't see evil, <laughs> so I'm right there with you, champ. Necessary evil. Dick. Petty villain. Criminal. Hero of another story, and just hero. Nice. Like yeah, I think like we, we might do a yeah. most most loved for a like, Warhammer characters mm-hmm. as well, because we'll. Rarus Pepe, the feet tearless will come when the epic rap battle tearless comes. All right, we'll do it on the same day, bro. Bro, is a is a feet tearless <laughs> and epic rap battles tearless? My God. Because, because you know, what I mean, because like, grandkids will watch us in the future, brother, and you know, what I mean, they'll be like, "Did you redo a feat here?" And it's like, <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did, grandson. Yes, I did. Colin is God. actually standing up on his chair. Uh, Fuck you, right now, little D. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my man alone. Do you? Do you guys? I heard this one the other day. Like, do you hate it when someone? Because obviously, you guys are not the tallest, but like, when someone calls you king, does that like annoy you? Uh, sometimes because they know it's they, they use it because they're trying to say short king my brother's the worst of it because he's like six foot one <laughs> wish i it's, got some of that it's it's a lot worse when somebody calls you buddy that that's a lot worse <laughs> dj b's column is not 411 he also says you got boblish but liponge uh you, you are right <laughs> Bob 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 <laughs> I do so. I, I do owe you. I do owe something. Although I did, we I got sponsored for an award for something else. Get me hello, says Colin is hog swoggle from <laughs> Dog <Dolly. laughs> Swoggle. Oh yeah. <laughs> Colin is a pocket <laughs> prince. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's my my cute little boy. The <laughs> fat ghost production says. I just noticed Colin is hiding his Tetris body pillow behind his cover. Yes, he is. We have the stream. <laughs> That's pretty by medieval oh. standards. Oh, pretty tall, I see. Uh, okay, okay. Leave, damn. Yeah. Is, people pay to insult you about your height. It's, it's just ridiculous. I have better things to do than this. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, with that being said, thank you all for joining for the tier list. We'll be back um, with Andy's voice next week. <laughs> so, yes, indeed. We appreciate you all. Thank you so much for the donations everyone gave. And we'll see you guys all soon. Appreciate you. Catch you Bye, on the next you. episode. Miss you. Love you, brothers. See you next week for Fortnite. Cheers. <laughs> oh, Crimson Glory, oh, thank you for the Crimson Glory, Buddy is my preferred <laughs> term of endear- endearment. Buddy is my preferred term of endearment. Buddy. Yeah, fu- I call other people Buddy too, but when it's like uh, taller, like someone who's taller than me and they call me Buddy, it's like, I could kill you. How about that? <laughs> have, you, have you ever dared? <laughs> dare I say it? Has anyone ever done the- the horrific thing. Have you ever like rested their arm on top of your head? You're not taller than me. Colin, are they? <laughs> no. I Sorry, my wife. My wife was saying. I call Eli, it. has so has someone ever rested their rested their arm on top of your head? Oh yeah, my my tall yeah. friends have done that. They yeah. might. What my friend would. My friend who's like six foot four. Whenever we took pictures in the gym, he would hold the camera up all the way up here and then take a picture of me, so it looked like I was two <laughs> feet tall. <laughs> Call this decent night, man. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for the five dollars. Oh man. What man, the heck, shy. Eli? Bro, it's just how it is. DJ B says <laughs> Eli's wife is five seven. My wife is five foot three point eleven, and I stand by. She thinks she's five four, but I'm this much taller than her. I think mine's five seven. Mm. Sure. Does corn tenacities wake up when people call him buddy? Mate, yeah. ma- like Mallet Mallard? Is that a, like the bird? <laughs> <laughs> it's an abominable drink. I was muted. Uh, Why are we still here? Is That's a six point. for ten. Yeah, Andy. Where are we still going? Andy, hit the end button. <laughs> <laughs>